dudes doing the jazz hands. Look, Kevin doing Amen. the jazz hands. Walter's Amen. doing the jazz hands. <laughs> we are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. This is episode 101 nope. of the Who Move My Freedom podcast. No one. Live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios in yeah. Gainesville, Florida. I'm Hank Strange, your host extraordinaire. And uh, tonight we have, of course, we've got Walter Keller in here. The old man in the sea. Oh, stop it. <laughs> we got Walter. Walter's in the building. And, of course, we have the Donk King. There he goes, Kevin Dixie. <laughs> Red Bull to you, sir. Red Bull. Red Bull to me. All right, I'll take that. I'll see your Red Bull. And um, I'm going to raise you a good old uh, ginger ale here is what I'm going to raise. Oh, man, I thought you were going to raise me like a shot of vodka. You got you. I, all I got is water, dude. I mean, I, I seriously. Mean, water's good. I've been drinking that all day. Figured out how to have me a ginger ale. Oh, yeah, okay, great. yeah, that's the case. You might as well. All right, so what's up to everyone coming back in the chat? We've got a couple of things we're going to talk about tonight. Of course, you know, as I said, this is episode 101. We're going to talk um, about HR 38, and which I believe passed through like this markup session. We're going to have to figure out what the hell is a markup. We should probably I start. We had all our, our pet projects on, and, and it ends up being like a $30 billion bill, you know? Yeah, where they try, they yeah. try to add stuff on. So um, we'll we'll talk about that as well as what I call chickens coming home to roost. You know, basically to me, how the media, you know, the media like open this Pandora's box. <laughs> oh yeah, and then the box cons it consumed of quite a few people, but it well, consu it's consuming lots of people in the media apparently. Now it's like I said, it's it's the thing to do now. So yeah. <laughs> And, um, and of course, I'm referring to like Matt Lauer, you know, getting fired because he also did some sexual harassment. Oh, uh, he did more than that, man. He exposed himself to people and all that kind of yeah, stuff. So. Yeah, I heard about it, you know, at the Olympics or something a couple of years ago. Hard to believe uh, the Olympics was two years ago. Yeah, you know, he's also saying that uh, he was a regular, uh, Katie Kirk says regular, regularly had his hands on her ass. So. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's oh, yeah. it's getting deep. But you know what? This thing really pisses me off a little bit because we've had all these. I know you just call me old, right? So back in the seventies, when when the women became liberated, if oh, sorry about that, they passed all these laws about sexual harassment. So it's against the law to do this stuff. So why 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 doesn't anybody do anything about it? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know why they why do they got to do it now when it's like a free for all? Yeah, it's a deep, we're, we're going to have this conversation. We're going to have this conversation. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into this. We'll dig into this and other news and other things, things you guys want to talk about. I want to encourage everyone to give us thumbs up. Come on, you yeah. know, click oh, yeah. the thumbs oh, yeah. up. Boom. Share that, we're, that we've got this video going out live with your family and friends. You know, we appreciate that. We're going to be doing, uh, we'll Man. talk about a lot of stuff tonight. Um, yeah. I want to go through and shout out everyone in the chat. Let's see who was in the chat. Who was in the chat first today? Let's see who was in there. The armed Kentuckian. Oh, cool. As well as Tango Hunter. Tango Hunter also in oh, there. Joe Carpenter. That, what's up? Um, hey Peggy. Isn't Tango Hunter one of the people I need to get his address? Tango Hunter and Enrique Q. Tango Hunter and what? Enrique Q. Uh, could you hear that? Oh, okay. I don't know Enrique. Q I know Tango Hunter's in the chat. Yeah, if you hear so me, Tango we, Hunter. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you need to um, send me a message on Facebook. Message. Yeah, private message. Don't yeah, give yeah. out your address. Yeah, don't do that. Or if you don't have that or whatever, you don't do that. Then uh, e email us. Yeah, and I'm sure we had an Enrique. I'm not sure that his that his thing was Enrique Q, but we will. Yeah, okay, and me KQ, so we'll check into that. All right, so um, we've also got the Archangel, Joe Carpenter, Chris Bolas here with us, LB Louis Cipher, as well, the Tyvin Show, of course. Tyvin Show's in there hanging out with us. Chris B, uh, let's see who else is in here. Oh, Vanessa Kitty. Oh, yeah. Vanessa Kitty is in the building. Foxtrot Echo. Roger, Roger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The Alize 808. <laughs> He's got a bunch of thumbs up. So, yeah, come on. Thumbs up, squad. Thumbs up this video as much as humanly possible. DC2 Mega Boost also in here. Opt out of gun control. 
he says good evening everyone good evening good evening um so i think i think um they're talking about h hr 38 which i think moved forward like you know basically this markup thing was like you know all the crap that they try to add on which i don't think they really they didn't allow anything to get added on that i could see but if someone out out there has different information let us know yeah. And so Chuck Schumer is threatening to filibuster. Oh, let us filibuster with his super filibuster powers. I think we should let all the names, all these sexual harassment suits they've paid money for, your money and my money, and uh, then I see how much he filibusters. Then, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> filibuster um, this, bitch. I guess. Yeah, I got your filibuster right here. Right, I got your filibuster right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Screaming, <laughs> screaming, <laughs> skulls. <laughs> <and laughs> Walter talks a little gangster. Yeah, I know, right? Screaming well, skull. What? What? Go ahead, Walter. You know these people need a little gangster right in their face. You know it's they Washington. Need, Washington. What are you trying to place. say they need your little gangsters in their face? No, what, what? Washington's one of these places where they all talk all sweet to each other out in public, or they act like they are. But then somebody needs to get, like Trump. She's like Trump doesn't give a fuck. It's like, hey, you don't like it? Too bad. You know. Yeah. Honestly, but, I wish we had a better system than all this crap. Well, I wish they'd go duke it out sometime. Just fight. No, I mean, listen. If there's if things come up, we need a better way of dealing with all this. You it know, it'd be so pleasant. I like. I don't like this all complicated. And then there's rules where people could filibuster and they could do this thing yeah, and do that thing. This, and please. everyone's got plans and psychological tactics that they use. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. this will kill everyone. <laughs> Stand up and say, "I don't like you, you sorry bastard." Yeah, I that's mean, it. You know. You know, I, you know see, I see all the crap they say. Like there was a guy trying to tag on something to the bill. I think yeah. it's. I think it said like if you assaulted a police officer, you should lose your right to um, to conceal carry. And he's like, anyone who opposes this amendment is against police officers. Well, what happens when the police beat the living crap out of you and you didn't do anything? Uh, what happened? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that happens too. So do yeah, they lose something? Most of the time, they yeah. cover it up and they move I along. I 100% <laughs> agree with you. Maybe they should well, lose something, but let's also not, let's, let's not say that. let's say let's say two police officers get into a little scuffle. Well, what? They, oh. <laughs> what kind of rights get lost? Uh, they both got the same guns, I guess. So, so maybe know. they should just leave all that crap. But this, yeah, right. It's not about yeah. all that shit. You know, it's just about all those things could be settled separately. I mean, if you actually assault a police officer, and you get, that you, already. Yeah, you get convicted of that things. We're, Repercussions should follow that. So why are you putting stupid stuff like that? Here's the thing: if you assault a cop and get convicted of it, you're not carrying a gun anyway. So we don't have to talk about you carrying concealed. You're not right. carrying a gun. You're not um, yeah, your ass should probably be in prison somewhere. All those, <laughs> yeah. all those yeah. penalties already exist for doing assault all that a cop, kind of. You know, assault a person. Like period. Right. Right. Hello. Hello. You've been charged yeah. with a degree of assault where you've been convicted of it. Now I'm not talking about verbal assault, but I mean you yeah. really physically assaulted yeah. somebody seriously. Battery. Battery. Yeah, battery. It doesn't matter. I, I, also, I there's uh, there's too many nuances in the world for us to get into this. Sometimes, you know, some one person's assault could be another person's defense. Well, that's you true. Know, you you well, might have to defend yourself against someone who's a police officer, and all right. of that stuff gets complicated. So the thing is, I'm not saying people should be able to assault police officers unduly. Yeah. But, you know, um, it's a lot of crap that they try to like, put well, in. We don't things. need to add all this stuff trying to get something through. Just stay focused like I had to try to do all day long and it's impossible. And, and, and get what you need to get done and move along. The only one <laughs> amendment that I want to see to any bill is term limits. Well, you're not going <laughs> to. Yeah, but nobody, no one brings that up curiously. No I one goes, I want to put an that. amendment on this bill that says there should be term limits. Uh, you know, so. Uh, uh, what, uh, but maybe maybe we should see what all these people are taking for prescriptions. Like they say that there's some of these people in Washington are getting a, a, getting actually Alzheimer's drugs. Let's 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 see who's on Alzheimer's drugs and <laughs> serving in Congress and the Senate. You know. I think I think we should have our age restriction. <laughs> like well, when, that, you that, to, when you get to a certain age, you should definitely. Th there needs to be some mechanisms to get these well, people's asses well, out. Now, of no, you know, if you're working for, say, the post office, and you reach a certain age, they throw your ass out, right? Yeah. It's yeah. time to retire, Holmes. You're out of here. Yeah. So these why, people why, just get in there and stay in there forever, man. That Conyers dude, I think he's been there for fifty years or something. Yeah, it's insane. 
It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, let's let's go through this. Shout out everyone. I think Screaming Skull Saloon, Nitro Zoo 76 that I mentioned, uh, the juice. Let's see. Juice. I think I mentioned OJ? Yeah, the juice. OJ. I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh, OJ. Not OJ, OJ the juice. Well, it could be. It could be the the juice. OJ. You never know. He could be watching. Yeah, yeah. MW Tactical. Um, he might poke fun at us. Glove does not fit. <laughs> the juice. You must acquit. The, <laughs> if it don't fit, run, Forrest, run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if the glove don't fit, get in your Bronco. <laughs> All buggy. Uh, yeah, uh, Joe Carpenter said, "Marry thirty-three years Friday." Congratulations! Well, good for you. Good for yeah, you. Congratulations to him. Recall Junkie nineteen eighty one is also in here. Marky Mark five two six. I don't know if it's the real Marky Mark. Marky Mark. Prob- oh wow. He don't go by not. that. Way. He don't like that. That's what, the, yeah, what they say. Pro- yeah, probably not the real Marky Mark. No. Uh, little Linus zero zero one. I'm trying to go through and see who else is in here. Imposter is in the building with us. Uh, gorillas and guns. So uh, let me just go through and see. There's like a bunch of people jumping in here. Music lover, insight freedom, the range one, Jake Barr, forest fire. I carry my re- revolver in single action. David A. Rock humper. I don't know if I said that before, but okay, you got another one. J. Tom M. Uh, J. Tomer, I guess. He says, yes, term limit. So there we go. Okay. If I missed anyone, just uh, let me know because these guys are ready to get into a conversation. I see Kimber Smith, Brian Quick, John Wolf, all those folks jumping in, Screaming Skull Saloon. I can't remember if I said him. Giles, Henry, Michael. So what's up to everyone out there? If I missed anyone, let me know, and I will shout you out. Shout Uh, you out. Yeah. Uh, Don't forget to click the thumbs ups, guys. We need as many thumbs ups as possible. Okay, so thumbs ups. Let's get all those thumbs ups going. To be honest with you, if you really hate us, click the thumbs down. That's fine. Yeah. That's okay. okay. We, you know, we're not going to be offended. We, we ain't. Like scared. I said before, you know, if you don't like me, you don't like me. If you like me, yeah. great. Let's let's have a the thumbs down just to watch Hank have a fit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just watch him blow up. I'm not gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna have a fit. I'll be happy. You don't know me. <laughs> it all. It's like, all good. To be honest time. with you. Yeah, a long time, you know, I mean, hey, until we get, when we get a thousand thumbs downs, then we know we're boss. Yeah, but you know what? Those thousand people were watching for at least a yeah. couple of seconds. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, um, I'll let everyone else argue about that, you know. You got to watch us to hate us. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's just, how, that's how it goes. Okay, so I see Mel Matrix in there, a whole bunch of folks. 904 is in, Kimber Smith is in. Right. So, you know what? OK, these guys are like chomping at the bit to talk about things here. So where do you guys want to start? Let's see. Let's weigh this. What do we want to talk about? H.R. 38. Oh, we can get this we H.R. 38. Thing we want to talk about talk sexual about harassment. We can talk about the murderous priest. I mean, we, we, oh, well, they just they just caught the guy that was in Tampa here that was killing people. And uh, yeah. 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 So that's that's I mean, that's local news. That's I mean, good news. Good news. If that is indeed the guy, I hope that is the dude. And they, they, they the police chief up. said on the the police chief said on the radio today that he is 100 percent sure it's the guy. So, yeah, they must have some good evidence. Yeah. Well, or maybe like ballistic or something like that, yeah, because I think. Uh, so how did they wind up catching this guy? Let me see if I could pull. He this worked at McDonald's. Oh, I need more any more city. And I guess the manager of the McDonald's knew he had a gun or something. And she just she called the police and and come to find out he was a dude. Um, so okay, so he had a gun illegally, or he was carrying. Now, I don't know with the yeah. legal illegal, but it all worked out. Where come to find out, there might be more of that story than they're saying too. But yeah, something uh, happened there. Maybe he threatened someone. But there, 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 there was a hundred ten thousand dollar reward. So good day yeah. for her. Yeah. yeah. So I see a thing here that says how a McDonald's food bag led Tampa police to alleged serial killer. A McDonald's bag that Howell Donaldson the third. Oh man, you gotta look out for the thirds. I'm telling you. Uh-oh. When you get the first or the second, you know. Well, guess the, guess who the, Will Killer the, Keller is. The, yeah, the first I know, that's where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> the first, <laughs> you know, get a little bit of craziness. When you get to the second, then you get this insanity right here. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, Kevin, my son, my son knows how to use uh, Photoshop too. We got a little surprise for you coming. Oh God! Why, why is everybody picking on me? <laughs> I, you know, it's love, why it's do love. you have to start early? I it's couldn't love. stand myself yesterday. I was on a live range. I was like, yeah. I just tuned in for a minute. I had to go, and I, I 
<laughs> you saw that. You like, oh, uh, you know what? Honestly, that was all Babyface. Uh, Babyface oh, P. Yeah, there. me, me and Walter, we were like, no, Babyface, don't do it. <laughs> sure, no, sure, that's not yeah. cool. <laughs> Kevin's our friend. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't bad though, man. There was some hellacious <laughs> wheels on that thing, you know. No, Babyface <laughs> is real quick on that Photoshop. Oh yeah, player. he was hitting it bad. Yeah, yeah he was playing around with the Photoshop. So. Uh, we'll we save will, it for a little we, bit we later. Will address, right. We will address this. We will address this. Right now, we're reading this McDonald's thing. So, uh, and like I was saying, the thirds. You always got to look out for the third. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, a bag that Howell Donaldson the third handed to his colleague at the fast food restaurant where he worked in Tampa was the key piece of evidence that led police to the alleged serial killer authorities said today. A person identified as witness three approached a police officer at the McDonald's restaurant in Tampa, Ybor City, Tuesday afternoon to tell them that an employee Donaldson gave them a McDonald's food bag and said he planned to leave the state. Oh. According to a criminal report after David. So inside the bag was a 40 caliber Glock. Oh dear. Yeah. Loaded oh. uh, with SIG branded Smith and Wesson ammunition. Oh, what just a bo box of Smith ammo. Yeah. Yeah, so SIG branded Smith & Wesson ammunition? I didn't no. even know that existed. It was probably SIG with the SW stamped on the, um, yeah, yeah. the, the, the head. Was all. Yeah, so this is like a writer that has no clue of what he, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. The details. Well, welcome to the media. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? So anyway, so I guess this guy gave up the evidence and then was going to run, but he did it too slowly because they called police right away. Wow. Should have all the McNuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, so there that, you go. I mean, you know, yeah. he's been caught. He should if he if this if this right guy, to the chair, man. Right. To yeah. The if chair. this guy did it and it's and, um, you know, at the end. Yeah, man. Four four counts of first degree. That's, that's what they're just, saying. Yeah. That's just a horrible, horrible you thing to go people, out. Just people you don't even know. You just walk up and shoot them. That's just not. Yeah. Well, shooting anybody's bad. But when you walk up and shoot people, you don't just out of the blue. That's like. Yeah, and with that, that that idiot in um, what was that uh, outside of Cleveland, Ohio, do the same thing? Remember, he walked up on that the old man just walking down the street. Oh yeah, the, the old guy. Yeah, it was like the young guy. Young walks up the old guy just working in his yard or something and gets in an argument with him and shoots his ass. Yeah. No, no, this guy was walking down the street and he was mad at his uh, he was mad at his girlfriend or his fiance. Oh, or okay. So yeah, that was a couple months ago. Yeah, and just, yeah, he put it on Facebook. He did it live. Yeah, so. He did a Facebook live. Oh, 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 yeah. I mean, that goes right to the rope, man. I don't even stop at the. Oh. Right yeah, Y'all see, yeah, see that fresh fade? You see that? You see that? Look, like, Ooh, like, look at that, man. You like that? Nice and neat. I just, I just saw it, so I thought I'd point it out to everybody. <laughs> just, you know, I just came from the barber shop. I just, you know. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Little moment there. Little moment. Oh yeah, okay. You, is that, is, have you fully exhausted that moment? Oh, we're gonna have a moment in a little bit here. You just, you just maintain. You oh, know? I have a feeling there's gonna be lots of moments. You guys better. I hope you guys really seriously do have your bulletproof panties on tonight, because I can tell you, Kevin has been steaming for 24 hours. It's so like sitting there, and I'm and I'm sitting there, and I'm 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 trying to get off of it because I'm gonna walk into the bays and I won't have any reception. And the last thing I hear is I'm walking into the bay is babyface say Kevin's gonna kill me. And then and then it died <laughs> off. I'm like yeah, they're just still talking about me. My ears were like itching. So have you guys been on um I don't know if you uh, saw my Facebook or Instagram the last couple of days, but the the video the audio I'm sorry of uh Creflo Dollar talking about how he would like to murder his uh nine tithing parishioners. Well you I know you spoke about talking about, about that. that yeah. yeah yeah oh did I get to talk about it yeah that was um that that kind of that that irked me. So it's just funny because you know a lot of the religious figures are you know anti you know gun things of that nature, and right. you try to talk to them to get in there and let them know why they should be armed. So this man is trying to convince you that convince people that he wants to arm the ushers with Uzis and murder you down if you don't tithe. But yet you want me to be unarmed and come to your church. That just doesn't work. So is it on record that Creflo Dollar is anti gun? He, he, it was a couple of mentions of it. He doesn't talk about it a lot, but it was a couple of mentions where he just believes that they're unneeded. Nothing where he was okay, like. So then why would his crazy butt then say uh, say this thing about the Uzis? He's against you being able to protect yourself. But if if you don't choose to, was it was he mad at people like not tithing at all, but well, not tithing yeah, properly and giving the right percentage or whatever? The, little, the, little, the minute in 14 seconds where he was speaking, it sounds like he was in front of his congregation. And um, he he basically starts off by saying when they built he built a new earth he's got many churches 
but it's one called the dome. I think it's like his biggest one. And um, uh, I first of all, right there, I'm not a fan of this. These super mega churches, not yeah, a good the coliseums, I call them. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> seriously. Let's put, his joke is like, let's put the Jews down in the coliseum, you know, and feed them to lions. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, is if you have all this money to build the, there's so much more you can do that. I'm, it's a, I'm, I'm 100 for churches, but and you could do whatever you want to do with your money. You want to build a massive church, but you want to well, go there and dance around and sing and all that stuff. That's he up said his, his original idea was to put in turnstiles at the church, <laughs> and oh. you would uh, have a card, and on your, you would swipe your card, and if you were a tither, and so you've been giving your 10 percent or more oh, on a regular God. basis, it would say welcome, welcome to the world. Um, we'll sing your little oh, song. God, and if you didn't. You would get red and blue lights flashing. It would lock you in. And that's when he said we would take all the people that weren't tithing, round them up, give all the ushers Uzis, take them out back, shoot them, dump them in a mass grave, and go back in and continue having service. And when did the police come in um, uh interview this guy? Oh, of course they did. You know, because he, this is, you know, he's talking uh, mass genocide here. <laughs> money. Money. Yeah. You know, it was like, oh, okay. And then the funny thing is, he's like, and at the end, because most people are like, oh, it was just banter. No, it wasn't. Kid. He clearly said, if we weren't, you know, covered by the blood of Jesus, Jesus died for our sins, so we don't have to pay the ultimate price. He said, if we weren't covered by the blood, I'm telling you right now, I would do it because it's that serious of an issue. If it wasn't against the law, against God, you I must need a new Cadillac or something. That's yeah. what. Well, this well, is the I, same. This is the same guy that told his parishioners a couple of years ago that they needed to give more money because he needed a new private jet, 65, 65 million, uh, Gulf Stream yeah. Five. So he, you know what? If he, if he can pull it off, more power to him. If those people are that stupid, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. No, don't hate the pimp. Hate the game. You know, <laughs> it's like that. It's like the athlete that's making forty yeah. million dollars. He can pull it off. More power to him, you know, I mean. Yeah, but I think this is like, this is a thing that happens in a lot of churches over the tithing and how much what you're supposed to actually give. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we would have to go back and see what Jesus, <laughs> or what's in the Bible about this particular thing. Uh, my understanding of it, you do what you can do and it doesn't always have to be money. You know, some people can't necessarily give 10% of what they make. But you you do things and you give back and it doesn't. But I know that there are some churches who are getting like that because basically they have their parishioners. They see them as slaves. You know, they see them as people who should go out there and give them 10 percent or more of everything that they make. You know, and even if you take away the slave thing, that's like, you know, what kind of representation are you getting for your taxation? I don't, I don't think you God's uh, taking the. You're not supposed to be able to buy your way into heaven. Well, and I know I'm sure there's people out there who are non-religious and all that kind of stuff, you know, so we can we can we can go down that path. <laughs> we'll, I'm not we'll, like, be, we'll, we'll, we'll get stuck down there. But, but you, know, you know, I don't think anybody's, uh, you know, um, yeah. like there's like a like a scorecard. OK, you yeah, if you're a truly then. religious person, if you have faith, if you believe in God, which if you want to know, I do. I don't I don't believe that that there is such a thing as being able to buy your way into heaven. I don't believe that. Or getting a a plus you know. for attendance, you know, that's like okay. Yeah. So, I think it's what's in your heart and uh, uh and your deeds. Right. You know, and it doesn't always come down to how much money and all that kind of stuff. And I think that's where this whole thing stems out of uh what do you think about that, Kevin? Um I think that everybody is So, I'm a Christian. And I I am not subscribing to the A, you have to give X amount of money. You know, uh, I just never have subscribed to that because when you get deep into it, there are ample churches uh, that I've set in myself and heard them say, oh, the 10 percent is just that's just easy. That's just the commandment. But you're not sacrificing until you go above the 10 percent. So they got some people giving 15, 20 percent, you know, of their, their income to the church. And then they were arguing, should it be off gross or net? They're saying, no, you should be giving it off yeah. your gross. Yeah, like, we're not talking religion anymore. We're not yeah, talking yeah. faith. We're not talking were spiritu of, spirituality were a anymore. Of churches down there in Florida. Yeah, actually, a couple of churches in Florida was a couple up here, too, where they wanted your 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 uh, your tax forms to see if you <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Yes, you know, like, it's that. crazy. And as far as going to church, like, having to go there all the time, here's my philosophy on that. You go to the church. Now, you have to go there to get refuel, you know, get your spirit right, talk, et cetera. Gotcha. No problem there. Get educated. However, if you spend every single Sunday in church, every single Sunday there, you're talking to the same people that somewhat believe what you're already believing. 
Uh, you should be out spreading God's word. You should be out in the streets talking to people, helping them out. It's the same philosophy when it comes to guns. Like we can we can sit in at, at the conventions and all that and talk to each other till we're blue in the face. But if you never take somebody who's not a shooter shooting, yeah. what good are you really doing? Right? You don't mm -hmm. have to do it on TV. Hey, oh, you don't like guns or you're scared of them? Hey, let me take you out. You know, mm -hmm. that's how you actually do the work. I don't need you to impress me by showing up to the range every day. I need you to go out and spread the good gospel. Same thing with church. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think regardless of what your spiritual beliefs are, we're all judged by our deeds. You know, not necessarily how much money we have or the things that we have, you know, um, and I'm not against things. You know, <laughs> we all we all like things and everything. But I think you you all, you have to be a good person behind all of that. And you have to do things. And, and, and I don't think like for people to believe that, hey, if I give if I give this, everything else I do is is forgiven. That's one of the problems that we have. You do know, a, going do a good turn world. daily, as they say, the, the Boy Scouts yeah. do, do a good turn daily. So be a yeah. good just be a yeah. good do good things and we can all contribute in our own ways. I'm always telling people that there's always ways that you can contribute and help out. Like you're saying, Kevin, when it comes to the Second Amendment, there's all things we can do. You know, we can vote. We can encourage people. We can we can make videos and, and educate people. We can go out there and actually talk to people. We can help people. We can save lives. We can shoot some ammo so the ammo guys can make some more money. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. You can, we can bust caps. <laughs> bust some caps. <laughs> Say it, Walter. Bust some caps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Put yeah. on your ass. <laughs> so I think that's disturbing, but, you know, I don't think that's going to go anywhere. I think he's going to pretty much get away with that nonsense. He's going he's gonna to get away with it. It's just, you yeah. know, and I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I've never met the man, you know, don't, don't really care to. Uh, but, you know, as, as a, as a Christian, when I heard it, I'm like, what? yeah, no, that's not. And when you're talking about murdering people in mass graves, I'm like, you know, no. you yeah. are kind of, but at the same time, no, I applauded him. I said, you know, thank you for reminding us if we needed a reminder, one of the many reasons why we won't give up our firearms. <laughs> <You know>? Yeah. <laughs> also, people do a disservice to themselves when they do things like that. You, if, if you truly believe, if you truly believe in the church, you're doing a disservice to the church. To he's do a, those he's kinds a, of things, to put those kinds of things. You're saying if someone comes to you, if a poor homeless family comes to you uh, and they have no money and they're barely getting by, you want 10 percent from them. You're going to turn them away. You're not going to help them. I mean, you know, and I, you know what, let them get on the jet and fly around, you know, and, and live in the mansions and, and drive all your nice cars and things like that. There was an argument that I had with somebody so. uh, one day. They were like, uh, you know, they were trying to debate with me about the fact that I didn't give 10 percent of my earnings. And I said, okay, all right, let's get past the wife, kids, house, mortgage, insurance, cars, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, you then you want 10%. Oh, don't forget about the fact you're supposed to save up for retirement because you know our pensions are going whatever, probably won't have those. So let's let's say I gave 10%. This is an argument. I said, okay, I give 10% to the church. They go do a new parking lot or you know, whatever, buy some new pews, whatever they do. Let's say they legitimately spend the money in the right way. What is God more pleased with? If I give, let's just say for round numbers, it's 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. I give 10 bucks to the church to, to do whatever, buy a new mop bucket. Or I take that same $10, go out and feed a family. Go buy, you know, uh, maybe, you know, uh, some, some, some pancake mix or something from the store and a pack of bacon. Go out, cook and feed that family and talk to them about how to better their lives. I think that he would prefer that I get out and spread his good deeds. And that I spend the money that way. So I was having a debate to say, don't tell me how I give my 10%. Am I giving my 10% with time? Like how much time am I doing? I know me personally, and I know a lot of good guys to do it, but I spend a lot of time giving back to other people, right? So is it, are we counting time or you guys strictly count tax brackets? And then once I really dug into them deep, they, they, they didn't want to Yeah, talk. here's one of the things, I mean, and you know, I don't know if we can, we can get really lost in the quagmire here. I think a lot of things that we, that exist in the world um, especially older things exist to subjugate most of mankind mm -hmm. to enslave them. That's what I believe. Governments, uh, organized religions, etc. They exist to subjugate us, and that was fine. You know, for a long time they were getting away with that. The thing that's happening is, you know, is that we are now getting away from them. And that's a lot of what we're going up against here. A lot of us are like, you know what? We can see through this. You know, we're, uh, most of us are smarter than this. And this is why so many people are turning away from them. Because ultimately, you know if something is good or bad. You know if you're dealing with good people or bad people. 
You know, obviously people can lie to you and hide things and do all kinds of stuff, but in your heart, it doesn't take that long for you to figure out who you're dealing with. And I think that's why we turn away from so many things. Why, like, we don't believe, I, do, I personally don't believe in politicians. I don't care if they have an R or a D. I don't care if they have an I, if they're independent. None of that matters to me. I don't believe in those people. I, I don't think that they can save me. I think ultimately we could save ourselves. You know, and that's the way that I look at it. And so many of us, and it's not, like I said before, it's not that I don't believe in faith and spirituality because I really do. I, I personally, I think that's a path everyone has to walk on their own. Yeah. And you know what the funny thing is, what a lot of people mention, and I've noticed it um, from a lot of different doctrines of religion. You know, we always talk about the extreme ones, but I'll speak about the one I know the most about in uh, Christ. And I know it was uh, when I went to the Hindu temple, it was, it was some of uh, what I'm about to say there as well. You know, my job is not to tell you what to believe. My job is just to love you as a person. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to argue with you. I know plenty of atheists and, you know, uh, Muslims. I'm not arguing with you. It's like, hey, man, as long as you, as long as you believe in something, even if you call it your own morals that keeps you from attacking me and mine, I'm okay with yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I don't care what it is. You know, yeah. my job is just to love you, accept you for who you are. And if you ever need some advice, you need somebody to talk to, you, you need a, you know, you need a friend, you need a brother. That's what I'm there for, not to judge you. And I think yeah. people get lost in that. Like, I'm holier than thou. None can tell me how to be more whatever it is. And you get lost in it just because you didn't get caught committing adultery. All of a sudden, now you're the perfect guy. You know, you we get we get really, really lost in what it's supposed to be to love each other. We're trying to always one up each other. So if it's not that I have the most money, so you start getting into, you know, um, uh, I'm, I'm more of a wholesome person. I am I am perfect in all ways. I can do no wrong. I hold the Bible. I hold my Quran and I am perfect. I don't eat pork or I make sure I give 10%, but your heart's dirty. Your heart's black as hell, but yet you want to pretend like you're in this perfect, this perfect little realm by yourself and that people need to subscribe to you for they can somehow climb up your back to get higher to Jesus to give them a high five. Screw you. Sit down. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't need that. We don't need that. Be good people. Be of good character. Be of good morals. Be of good heart. Align with each other, be open, be active listeners to your brothers and sisters in the world, and we'll be okay. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And defend each other's rights and like to freedom. You know, oh, we, yeah. we, yeah, you know, we, we all have that right to be free. And, and that's why we believe what we believe uh, so much, right? And lots of people get on that. So, I mean, I think that's a nice little segue to what's going on with the media. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> you like that, right, Walter? Yeah, hey, you know, I like that. What comes around goes around. You know, that's what I like to think. And yeah. So, well, you know, and in the title of this, I put like the media's chickens are coming home to home roost. To roost, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I hope you guys out there know what that means. <laughs> but you know, the chickens are definitely coming home to roost. And I think it's. I um, I actually went and looked it up because you know we all. That's the thing with sayings, right? We want to make sure we know what what sayings what, where they come and from. funny a lot of it real like the real leftist chickens too which i have it like a, yeah. a, a good laugh with you know? <laughs> yeah um as a proverbial expression it's half a millennium old the older fuller form was curses are like chickens they always come home to roost meaning that your offensive words or actions are likely at some point to rebound on you that comes around, goes yeah. around. So I think it came from that thing, like uh, what they're talking about curses out there. When you wish bad on other people and we, or when you try to take other people down, the things you put out in the universe to take other people down, sometimes they come back at you, son. <laughs> the ricochet biscuit. Yeah. You know, it's like if you watch Harry Potter and they do that. What's the what's the, the uh, killing curse in Harry Potter? I forgot what it is. Um, <laughs> What the heck is this? Someone, someone on here knows what the killing curse thing, you know. But, but when you do those kinds of things, when you're out there trying to take people down, sometimes they bounce back around on you. That and it's so. yeah, I think it's interesting. Like what's happening? Like what came out? I'm not. First of all, I think this is like we have gone to batshit crazy level in America yeah. right now. <laughs> it's a cycle right now. Yeah, this is it. the this is the is it the Cruciatus? No, the uh, it's the unforgivable curse. I think. Oh, it's. Yeah, Ava Kedavra. <laughs> what? Be just, just be careful where you wiggle your wand. It might come back yeah, to get you. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't wiggle my wand on that one. So anyone who knows, my, I left my wand home. It's not here. But you know, the thing is, is if you look at this, if you look at this whole thing, I think it's kind of like it, it's it's really curious that how how this is all playing out today in terms of what happened with Matt Lauer. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, this is something that that started. If you really want to find the root of this, we've always been doing this in America, I think, yeah, it's right? Awesome. It's not new. It's no. it's definitely not new. But I think we get caught up in things that have to do with human nature that we are all susceptible to. That's one of the things I think that's a problem here. Right now, this is all dudes. This is all men getting in trouble for things. Chicks for do se- it too. For sexually, yeah. It's it, the reason why we haven't seen anything come out on women yet because most guys go through this and suffer in silence. Yep. Or yeah. or 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 the the girls are kind of like they play the guy, and then all of a sudden when the guy acts, it's like oh my god. He actually said something, or he actually. Well, or, or I think a lot of times as a guy, you also feel and because you know your friends may be like, "Oh, so you're complaining because someone's trying to come on to you?" No, we all, all of us, men, women, every what, what if I don't care where you categorize yourself in the, between those two realities of men and women. <laughs> you know, we all have the right to ourselves, and people don't need to violate that and try to force things on us. We shouldn't be forcing things right, right. on other people. But a lot of what's happening here is human nature stuff, and and that's why it keeps coming back up. But in this particular case, if you guys you guys realize that a lot of this started back over a year ago with the with the Trump campaign, right? No, it started with uh, O'Reilly too. No, I think this this particular thing that we have going on right now started with the Trump campaign, um, with with the hot mic moment with Bully Bush. Remember that? Oh, oh yeah, no. grabbing the grabbing the yeah. You know. What what um what? Because Billy Bush came from he was like in L.A. They brought him out to New York. Speaking guess, of Billy, guess, Billy, guess Billy. what show he was on? On the Today Show, probably. Yeah, he was on the and, Today Show. But look, show. It, it came around to bite Billy too, didn't it? But pick it up and put it over here. Wife left him or something like that, or is getting divorced or something. So. Yeah. Well, th- what I'm trying to say to you is, what happened is he came on to the. T- he came. T- he left L.A. and came to New York and left his family back there and came here to do the Today Show. He was on the Today Show with Matt Lauer. Ah. Okay. Birds of the feather flock together. That's that- where he was when all of this came out. Then they went back and took like old footage. Uh, of him talking to Trump, uh, I forgot how it was years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before all of this, and so they had this footage for a long time, and they yes. never put it out. And then all of a sudden, Trump's running to become president. Like, oh yeah, let's put this out. Okay, yeah. they put it out there. You know who gets fired? Billy Bush. <laughs> yeah, and because no one he gave a, go ahead. Because it because it was recorded when nobody was supposed to be recording stuff either. So no, well, he got fired because they said that you know basically if you listen to the thing. He's not saying to Trump, oh, that's so bad. You shouldn't say that. He's kind of like laughing and going along with it, which, I mean, what, what, I, I don't know what you're supposed – what is he supposed to do, kick Trump's ass? You know? Yeah. So, but well. he, yeah. so Billy Bush wound up getting fired by something that – because of something that he really didn't – in my opinion, if you look at that, he's doing an interview. He's asking Trump stuff. Trump's saying things. Maybe that – you know, th- these, this is like a private conversation between dudes. Right. And if people really put out our conversations out there, anyone, anyone in this world, if you, if we can't have private conversations anymore, it's not even worth it, right? Yeah. So no. this guy gets fired because of it. Like you just said, Walter, his wife is actually divorcing him because of all of this. And that was like a year ago. You know, Trump still went on to become president. Okay. Well, look at, all not- the, look at all the women that accused Trump of doing all this stuff. Then all of a sudden, they're gone. What happened to all of them? Where'd they all go? I'm. Sh- I'm. Sh- I guarantee you. Did, the, did the cash flow stop? I don't know. Remember, still- always. Uh, anything like this goes on. Any controversy? Follow the money, baby. Follow well, what happened is money. this whole thing sparked because basically what you have here is a, a is a legal system where what you go to a lawyer and then you say that someone sexually harassed you or whatever. And I'm not right. saying it's not true, but you go to a lawyer, the lawyer brings that up, then it gets out there and it starts bringing people down. But the, but the media just kept pushing this thing and pushing it and pushing well, it. Well, because that was the narrative, the anti-Trump narrative, that's what it was. Yeah, I mean, but it blew up with Harvey Weinstein and it just still kept going. And, I, and I'll tell you right now, it's not over. Well, no, I'm sure it isn't. Wait till, wait till they release all the names of the ones in Congress that have been paid off or yeah. paid people off. With your money and my money, so you know. Yeah, you know, I, they, I don't know that we're the only gonna way happen. we're going to see those it's, names is someone's going to have happen. to leak it. It's going to happen. This Congress, we're talking about, they're not bringing themselves down. Ah, uh, you know something? It's just getting going, like you said. Yeah, I think it's getting going, but I think we're going to see more people. I think we're going to see women involved in this. Well, you know, you know girls do the same. Girls do the same thing. 
Yeah, all, all right. kinds of stuff is going to come out the woodworks, and ultimately, it's a it's a mirror reflection of us as human beings. That um, well, it's it's it, it, it's nothing new. It's not going away. Nobody's a uh, yeah. You know, there's a, as long as long as you're a guy and and there's girls, you're going to say and do things, and some of those girls, there's guys, they're going to do the things too. So it's just. It, it's also this snow. We're in a snowflake thing right now, where every little thing. If if you if you smile at somebody, and like my son said, what if you say she's got a nice butt? You know, you can't say anything, my friend. Well, but you know, the girl can say thank you, or and they might say thank you at that time. But then later on, they're like, well, he talked about my ass. You know, so let's 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 ruin his life. So nothing is safe to do or say anymore. I could just you know, tell you that right it, now. Well, yeah, it's just a yeah. cycle. We, we're going all have to, right we all have to build bubbles. You know what? You know what? will fix all this stuff. I hate what? to say it. We start bombing Korea. You'll never hear another word about any of this. If there's another major uh, terrorist attack, it'll all go away. It'll drop the first time something happens. It's gone off the top. Forget about it. You know, it, it's there's no major things going on right now. That's I hate to say that this stuff is not news. It's nothing that's gonna affect what you're doing tomorrow what i'm doing tomorrow nothing it's just what's the gossip the gossip you know gossip has always been top dog and the dirty laundry you can bring more dirty laundry out you can get the blonde girl out and, hey, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like when there's bad weather the weather channel gets excited when there's bad weather you know like a hurricane yeah. going it's like yeah someone's gonna die well, that's good stuff so i think there's a kind of desperation out there though for people like younger people or people who are single because they feel like, man, we're living. I'm living in a world where I can't say anything. I can't say, to, man, you look good today, or you, you, know, you to, can't do it. You, know, you can't do anything. You can't say anything. Yeah. If you're a dude, someone's just waiting out there with a pair of scissors to to snip your nuts off. And if you let if you let that happen to yourself, you will be like that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so. you can't live your life. That's like if I walk up and say, hey, and I'm not going to say things, you know, that are that are, uh, are purposely rude, but you know, or, or offensive or something. But if you say, Hey, you look good today. It's like, well, I like your hair. Oh, 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 what do you mean? You like my hair? Well, looks nice. Yeah. Have a nice day. You know I mean? You know? Yeah. Who knows where, who, who knows where the hell this is? Right. Um, I mean, you, you know, you're gonna, you still got to go out and talk to people you know, guys got to talk yeah. to girls and you know, and guys, girls got to yeah. talk to guys. And, yeah, well, I can tell you right now, it looks like the news, the media in general is going to be all women. Just look forward to movies <laughs> all, that's only women and only written and directed by women. No, don't even start that uh, shit. It's, it's already happening, dude. Oh, fuck it's that. On, on TV, on. you're only going to see women. So, I, so that, okay, you know, me, and then me... eventually you're going to see that there's going to be women sexually harassing other women and all of that. That already it's, goes on, my friend. Yeah. That's nothing new. We there's just plenty, all there's need plenty to of live. lesbians out there that are eyeballing it that all the other women too and say all that same kind of stuff. You know, come on. So what's the solution? We all just climb into the middle. Get over it. Yeah. I know <laughs> Get I agree the with fuck you. Over it. I mean, come yeah. on. Just I mean, drop it. Yeah, I mean there's so many other things that are going on that are more important than this. Yeah. You know, the Koreans are still launching missiles. Um, you know, nobody seems to care. Well, they do care. There's gonna there's gonna be hell to pay pretty soon for that. I have a feeling. So you um, think that you think that there's uh, gonna I think be something's gonna go on. Yeah, it's gonna. So be, it's gonna be a like a, a white it's gonna dog be, kind of situ it's situation. It's gonna be so. Then. No, they'll they'll do something. Something's gonna happen. A missile will fall short. Something will happen, and there'll be hell to pay for the North Koreans. Sorry. I mean, I mean, it'll but it'll happen so hard. You'll be sitting there watching your sexual assault story. And next thing you know, the yeah, line well, will go across the top. I think, I think with North Korea, they've already proven that they have the ability to do a lot. Like, what more proof do we need? You just need an accident. Uh, what, what are you talking about, an accident? Well, you need a, an accident. You know, something falls short. Somebody, you know, accidentally. You mean falls. North Korea has an accident and winds up, they're going to wait until they actually take out a bunch of people, and then no, they're going to try you know, to do the missile them? lands a little too close to Japan, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. Trump's got um, they, something's got to give eventually. It's not Trump's not going to let this keep going on and on and on and on. They and keep on. dropping missiles really close to Japan. I don't know what Japan's way. And you know what's weird? I don't know why. If anyone watches what Japan is up to, why would you mess around with Japan? Japan and, and, kick. The Japanese are looking for a well. I won't say looking for a fight, but um, they yeah. can they can they can take care of themselves too. Those dudes use their planes as bombs. I mean, they're kind of serious. 
No, but what, what, okay, Here, here's the thing. Have you seen the robots the Japanese have been building lately? Yeah, they've seen the girl robots they've been making lately? No, no forget that. I'm an old man, Walter. I got a kid. Yeah, Walter, forget the. Now you're going to, listen, the fembots exist so that we can sexually harass them without repercussions. You know, the, the, that's a point, fine example of the whole, um, you talk about women taking over and all this stuff. The Japanese cannot re reproduce enough people to keep the Japanese going at the current rate they're reproducing because the men have kind of been demend you know yeah, they're also like, they are they are they are so damn racist <laughs> that might not well, be helping them. <laughs> you know the japanese don't if you're if you're a real real super close society like that that might you might you might die out <laughs> if, if you don't mix your gene, your gene pool up a little bit <laughs> well not even that yeah. they you know um but yeah definitely the China, the japanese definitely don't like other other species no they don't world. man you can tell if you get on a plane, like sometimes when we're going out to SHOT Show, we wind up on a plane that has some like Japanese people on it. Everyone else walks down the aisle and bumps you, <laughs> you know, like kicks you walking down the aisle. Japanese person goes past like a ghost. Well, they don't want to. Yeah, they want to touch you. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, so, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's them. You know, what are you going to do? That's not my world. Yeah. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. But what but, I, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about, I wasn't talking about the, the sex bots, Walter. No, no, I understand what you're saying. But yeah, no, I'm talking about the robots. Have you seen the robots that the Japanese are building? <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah. They've got yeah. robots that can, like, can play soccer and basketball. <laughs> did, did you they, see could, the, they could do flips. Did you see the guy that married his robot? I think I did see that. Uh, yeah, and, 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 oh, no way. He's got one in his house, and he prefers his robot over his wife. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Those are okay. You, you see, this is the thing. That's a Japanese smokescreen, man. <laughs> it, they, you're you're looking at the sex bots, and you're forgetting that these dudes are actually building for real. Do Do I need to find some video to show you what I'm talking about? The so robots, what's going to happen here? The robots that the Japanese are building are scary as fuck. Have you guys never seen these robots? EMP. I've seen a couple of them on the, on the Facebooks and stuff. Yes, those that's scary. Think about that. Robots that have their own balance and can do all that. What do you think happens next, man? They put guns in the robots' hands. The robots go out there and take back the world. EMP. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, um, you, need to read that. Uh, Walter, you can eyesight. make you can make the robots EMP shielded. You can you can directionally right. aim that everything, stuff. Too, everything actually. is not yeah. Everything's not an EMP. And also, Walter, the EMP might fuck your own shit up. <laughs> EMPs might fuck your own shit up. <laughs> you know, the Popo have uh, um, stuff for stopping cars like that. Yeah, I know. I saw that there are police um, EMP devices, but it doesn't work. It doesn't go out in a wide band and right, EMP it, everything. It, 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 Aim it right, so that robot, boom, 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 yeah. Okay, you believe that aiming nonsense? So, let's say they're chasing someone's car, right? And they're aiming an EMP laser at this person's car, and the guy turns, and then you're in your Ferrari that you worked for 40 years, yeah. you know, that Ferrari you're planning on buying, yeah. right? And then they, your Ferrari gets hit with the EMP, then what? Yeah. You won't <laughs> I hear don't know. about it, right? yeah. <laughs> I wasn't it's, thinking that far. Ahead. No one's going to give a shit. I remember this happened to me several times when I lived in New York City because I always drove. At least like three times in New York City, my um, my uh, rear view mirrors got clipped by police cars or oh, really? ambulances or fire trucks, right? I think I it was one believe. of each. And they, and they knocked off my mirror. And then I, you can't do anything. They won't pay for that. They'll go up. Oh, it's too bad for you. You were too far out in the street. Yeah. Who told you to drive in New York City? You're not supposed <laughs> to have a car anyways, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I, <laughs> well, I think, I think uh, one time my brother-in-law, who they used to live up in New York City in Forest Hills, when they lived in Forest Hills, I mean, they lived in Queens, not so much in the, in the, in the, in the his car got stolen like three or four times. And I'm like, why are you bothering with a freaking car? I mean, it's like, you know. Um, have you, how often have you taken public transportation in New York City? I've been on the subway a couple times. Okay, yeah. on vacation. Yeah. Okay, so just imagine that you live in New York uh, City. Well, I wouldn't live in New York City. And like time. 300 and something days oh. out of the year, you have to get your butt on a bus or a train I, and go around that. Guess what you'll do? You will get anything. A car. Not have to ride it, right? Anything. You will get a car, my friend. <laughs> my brother, my brother-in-law used to ride a bicycle in the Manhattan. Yeah. I have seen lots of crazy shit on the in the public transportation of New York City.
So well, that's I why I it. had cars. I'm not, I'm not contesting that at all. Yeah. Not at all. So, um, anyway, anyway, I'm telling you, the, robot the, Jap Japan. the Japanese robots are coming for us. All right. Well, bring them on, baby. Bring them on. Okay. One day you're going to see a whole bunch of little parachutes out there. It's not going to be like Red Dawn. APIT, my friend. It's going to be the. It's going to be like. Person incinerate <laughs> tracer. Done. <laughs> oh, okay. One next. Done next. Yeah. No, hey. when you, I could, I, Kevin. Right now, I could picture how the how this apocalypse goes down. Right. Okay. Walter goes outside. They're little parachutes. Mm -hmm. he looks robot. <laughs> Baseball bat. Baby. He thinks, oh, here comes the sex bots. <laughs> <laughs> Walter's all happy. He doesn't go get the fifty. He's like, oh, sex bots are coming now. <laughs> long time, but like, <laughs> Walter's outside with a bunch of double D batteries and some chargers. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay. Hey, All hey, right. I'm okay. going to have to hijack the show for like two minutes and 30 no, seconds. No, go ahead. Go ahead. We're probably okay. off on a bad tangent anyway. We have a special guest who wants to, uh, who asks me, can he hijack the show tonight? Absolutely. Right, Let's do it. Let's well, do while it. we're waiting on that special guest, I do want to, uh, for anybody who's in the South Carolina area, or anywhere close to South Carolina, if you guys are looking for training right now, um, Munitions Weapons Tactical is running a, a deal for 50 bucks for your concealed carry classes there. If you guys are in that area and you want to take advantage of that special, go to m-wtactical.com. Uh, that's m-wtactical.com. And if you want to email them, it's info at m-wtactical.com. So that's a, it's like a Hank Strange exclusive thing, thing special thing, 50 bucks if you guys are in there. Hit him up and he'll hook uh, you. Cool, cool. All right. So look, discounts everywhere. Party, party, party. And uh, okay, I guess I'm still waiting. But yeah, Walter, you're waiting on it to um, to rain your um, your um, your little um, androids there. Yes, yeah, sex bots, fembots. Sex bots to come. Uh, started that whole sex bot Walter thing, is huh? waiting for the fembot <laughs> apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know what 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 makes people think that that's that's that uh, messing with Japan is okay. I probably wouldn't. Are you ready? No, I won't mess with the Japanese. All right, so we're we're hijacking the show, guys. Well, I'm right, I'm being put out in my seat because the show's being hijacked. Oh boy. Uh -oh. Hold on, let me come over. All right. Hey, hey, baby. Have a seat. Pull the show. Hi, guys. Hello. What's up? How Hi. you doing? Yes. Say hello. 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 Uh, my name is. Dino, but I go the, as the name of D Love, as no other choice. Um, for in January, I am going to be on the no other choice for two two times a month, times a month and I am going to teach kids how to uh, get better grades in schools. The cool guns, um, the safety of guns, most important, and I'm going to review guns. Review guns um, oh, oh. So make sure that you come on talk. Make sure to, <laughs> make, sure to come, make sure to tune in with your kids and, <laughs> and watch me and help them to help them out on no other choice channel. Okay, awesome. very good, very well done. <laughs> Oh, man, come on, you gotta get to do it. They want to see you coming. This is my uh, pistol uh, AR. Mm -hmm. Very cool. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Um, I have a Vortex site, uh, an Enforce light, and. I like uh, one thing I like about it is that the distance it shoots and how light it is and it has a diamond diamond head rim I mean rail which is really cool. Mhm. Mm it looks good, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the most that's, that's the most important. important. That looks yeah, good, that's yeah. very important. <laughs> <laughs> and uh what's even more important than that is who does it belong to? Me. There you go. <laughs> We'll take yeah. my dad with me mostly. Yeah. So from now on, you're gonna be anytime your dad uses it, you're gonna be charging him rent, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. You probably don't want to do that because then he'll start charging you rent. <laughs> First chance it gets. Yeah. Yeah, that which might be more expensive than the gun. <laughs> In the long run. 
Yeah. Show me, and then you gotta go. I got a uh, Smith and Wesson twenty two. Uh, I like it because it's really light, and it's it's she's my favorite animal twenty two. Oh, okay. <laughs> very, very easy to shoot. Yeah, I, go ahead, Walter. Tell your dad you need to get a suppressor on it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You need a suppressor first. Yeah. Yeah. The first suppressor that comes into the house belongs to you. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, this this is the truth, probably. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Bye. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks All for right. coming on. And I've got one of those. I've got one of those uh, Smith & Wesson M&P 22s. Very nice gun. <laughs> yeah. One of my favorite guns also. Right, Everyone worry. should have a nice 22 pistol, right? Well, I know yeah, you yeah, have, yeah. you got a couple. I don't know if you have a Smith & Wesson one. Uh, no, I do not. No, I have that Walther that's got the can on it all the time, the, T, uh, the, the P22. And then a couple other ones that don't have any cans. We're going to work on that, though. So, Yeah. Yeah. Everything has to be suppressed. Yeah, it's much more polite. Yeah. Integrally suppressed for everyone. Oh, you know it, baby. You know, you know when we get some of those Japanese robots, then we will be making integrally suppressed guns for everyone. <laughs> Domo El Bato, Mr. <laughs> yeah, Domo Arigato. All right, Mr. Just, Robato, yeah. just before I forget, let me add this in. So for that, uh, for that handgun special, apparently it's gotten better. If you... Uh, contact Mr. <laughs> Munitions uh, Weapons Tactical. Um, you also uh, ask for the Burl special, and that'll get you an additional twenty dollars off. <laughs> so, <laughs> cool. Burl the code. <laughs> yeah. Burl. Uh, Burl. Yeah. So the Burl special gets you an additional twenty dollars off. Oh, oh cool. If you're in the cool. South Carolina area. There you go. Conceal carry class for thirty bucks. Can't beat it. Okay, cool. Yeah. And um, you know, uh, we are going to come back and talk more about HR thirty eight. You know, at this point, I think it's. Uh, it's moved out of committee, right? So now it's gonna uh, it's yeah, gonna I move forward, forward, right? Seems like. Or it's come out of the markup for sure. Markup, and I think it's going to the. the yeah. I looked and did it, it? I think it came. Did it come out of the markup unscathed? Yeah, and it's going someone, to. The some, someone who's looking at news. I'm just trying to figure out if anything got added to um, HR 38. Considered by the House Committee on. Uh, um, which the funny thing is, is that it's not hitting like the regular news, so we're not getting. Uh, well, of course not. It doesn't have yeah, any. They, don't talk about that. It, nobody got sexually harassed in the making of it, so I mean, it doesn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. Come on, yeah. dirty laundry sells, guys. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. You know, especially yeah, old guys, old white guys that get caught, you know. Hanging their dinky out there. It's like mainstream. Their dinky? Dude. Is that what you? Is that what white dudes call it? The dinky. Senior, the, you know, their, their, their gimmick, whatever, you know, whatever term you like to use. Oh. Um, I'm trying speaking, to keep it clean here. Speaking of dinkies, we should probably get on the subject while we go. we got a bunch of people in here. I know we've got over 100 people. So everyone, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you like this video. Share it with friends. Okay? We really appreciate that. We need that. Um, while I've got you guys coming on, in the beginning of this, we were talking about something that went down yesterday. Oh, and first, okay. I have to say, it wasn't me. I was trying to stop this kind of harassment is it, is it time on the for show. It? Yeah, I think. Is it what? Is it time for the uh, version two? No, no, no. I'm going to show what started the whole thing. But this wasn't oh, okay. me. I, I, you know, I don't condone this kind of. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm so against this. Really. But, <laughs> so here it goes. Somehow we got into this conversation, which didn't have anything to do with me, where we compare, where we were talking about Kevin and his love of the dark. Here we go, man. So here we go. Here goes. this picture, this picture was photoshopped by <laughs> <laughs> Babyface. Did this Photoshop in like less than five minutes? Oh, all of a sudden, boom! Yeah. There it was. Boom. So there you go. So you guys, so you guys could see that. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that that came out of the woodworks, and that's what started the thing. So let's. So how did this happen, Kevin? How did this go down? Look, somebody asked me to describe what a donkey is. So I just described what it started. It's funny. I'm the one to get made fun of, but it actually started. <laughs> Wait, didn't you say that you owned a donk? I did not. I said I didn't own a donk because I like my car slow and low. 
I had big rims on it, but no, not nearly. See, we didn't. We didn't hear that when you I said. Had, I, I swear he said he. Yeah. When, when I you, had rims with twenty twos and twenty fours are not like those things. Like oh, well, these uh, things this like is wagon really weird them. because you're saying that you said you didn't own a donk, and I heard <laughs> I, I own a donk. donk. I, I used to have a donk. I specifically remember telling you we can't own that kind of stuff up here because of the salt in the streets. Oh, the roads are so bad. Yeah. Now. But that that's cool. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that hit. That's all right. I was just trying to help everybody out. I never thought I would have to tell a couple of Floridians what a dunk is. <laughs> oh, I know what a dunk is. No, I know what it is. Yeah, I oh, just wanted you. Yeah. You know, you're from St. Louis. I thought the authority should explain. <laughs> no, we we're not. You're the dunk capital. <laughs> Down there in the. I no, think that the is MIA, true. I think the MIA boys started this whole. Dunk yeah, thing. I think that dunk nonsense started in Miami. Yeah, yeah. I was just saying. Oh, wow. Caught the crossfire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that happened. Um, when did you first see this said um, assault? I saw it on your personage. <laughs> I saw it. He put the little link up in the chat, and I think I clicked it and walked away. That's when I was walking away. I clicked it and walked away. And all I heard is he's gonna kill me. And then, like thirty minutes later, I was able to get back on it. And uh, yeah, okay. Then here comes uh. Facebook and all the comments in Facebook. I'm like, okay. But then some people had my back, though. Some people had my back. I think they photoshopped babyface in a couple of things. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. I think it was Archangel that had your back. If I'm yeah. giving the wrong person credit here, let me know. So Archangel, he tried, he took his hands at his try at Photoshop. <laughs> he came up with this, with this jam. <laughs> Very badly photoshopped, I might say, but I did I did send this to babyface. <laughs> hey, you hear my wife? <laughs> Now, somebody has to explain to me what the hairy heck this is. I don't know, but it's I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, someone one. tell me what this is. That one was classic. What I form know. of... He's got his, now, look, baby face... Why did, they have to, why did they have to get a baby face with a Hank Strange patch? No more <laughs> Hank Strange patches for baby face. This is some kind of weird uh, unicorn man creature with baby face's head on it. And his head seems to have like oh uh, dear That's it's not properly thing. photoshopped so you know it's not properly photoshopped <laughs> so that was the next okay. salvo on your behalf somebody someone was out yeah. there fighting for yeah, you. I, got, I, got some, I got some i got some i got some partners in here you know it's a few shows and ones rolling with me you know walter yeah. Foles be my boy you know i think see but baby face you know he 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 okay okay Okay. And he set me up too. He got me all on his side. He buttered me up with this whole, "Hey, send the the gun here, and I'll make sure things get happened to it." Man, threw out that big no F word. And then he said, "Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna leave you something to remember." Uh -uh. Oh, see, baby face is in the chat now. Oh, it is. <laughs> he oh, says now. that's some weak that's Photoshop. Some weak. <laughs> oh, now it's he's... funny though. It's funny. You can't, oh, you know. It, it, I mean, for I can, photoshopping, for photoshopping points, it might get like you know, half scores. But for fun, fun factor, for, for amusement, <laughs> it's funny. So, um, oh, it's the brony corn or something like that. Babyface says it's the brony corn. So <laughs> now. Now, obviously, Kevin, I know that you're you're planning some kind of retaliation. Now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a good one too. I'm not. Yeah, it's gonna take. Yeah. Me a now, before you show that, I just want to show the the next salvo in okay. this. And if you remember earlier in the show, I mentioned how the third version of a thing is always like the dangerous one. You know, yeah. so you have like Walter Keller one, uh -huh. then you got Walter Keller two over here. Well, Will Killer Keller three. Came up oh. with this. Oh, I got it. I, I'm trying to bring it up, but you got you it. Go. This is what Will Killer Keller three did. <laughs> <laughs> this is apparently a MP5 on dogs <laughs> <laughs> with Kevin Dixie riding dirty. <laughs> How you like that saddle, man? <laughs> this is so crazy right now. <laughs> So the uh, Will oh, Keller man. Says some bear might have been involved. <laughs> no, you know what? You and know that what? gets that gets full Photoshop points right there. You gotta admit. I, I'm gonna say that that one's that. That's, that's not. That's, you know that's what? I didn't be mad at that one. That's that's. <laughs> <laughs> that one needs to be. Somebody please tag. Put this on Instagram and tag HK, please. <laughs> Oh yeah. That, yeah, that is totally crazy. Yeah, you can put that one out in the universe. That's oh, okay. Damn. All right. Oh, oh wow, that one got the stamp of approval. That's got the, I got that on my phone, man. It's done. 
Oh uh, yeah, that that now you know, baby faces was funny. But that that one, the the original, I mean, was funny. But that one's that one's pretty good. Uh, okay, but it's <laughs> you're going for that because so, of HK so, involved, right? So at this yeah. moment, I'm gonna let you. After I've done a lot of talking, it's all you now, Kevin. <laughs> oh, no, no, you know what? It's okay. I, you know, I like I like my my you know like my turkeys. I like for things to marinate. I like the brine to set in. I'm a I'm a wait a minute because I had to call in my um my expert. You know. But you know it's gonna be a minute for we sit together. <laughs> yeah. I'm traveling, she's traveling. So when we get back, oh, you're not you're not firing back your salvos oh, today. No, oh. I call in for help. No, because that was <laughs> deep. that hurt my heart. So I had to call in for reinforcements. Reinforcements. So, yeah, I gotta get some reinforcements. Oh, so you line. serve you serve your revenge cold. Oh yeah, well, I think that's, that's everything's all right. You know, I was I, I worked. I didn't get home to almost midnight last night, and I had to be back out at you know four thirty five o'clock this morning. So I'm like, you know what, that's cool. I don't have time. I think I think that's very dangerous because you're giving other people time to throw more salvos. Oh, uh, Rock is. Humper says I don't think those are factory wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Oh no. no. Uh, Joe Carpenter says Monty Python quality. <laughs> um, and 904 says it has hydraulics too or bags. <laughs> uh, it's got to have the real pumps, man. It can't have bags. Yes, yeah, the H donk or HK donk. So there you go. So I don't know if there's any more salvos out there. I, you know what? Listen, I have a sneaky suspicion that Babyface's butt is somewhere doing more Photoshop. Oh yeah, he is. You know he yeah. is. He's yeah. taking pictures off of this yeah. right now. I mean, you know, he went to college and all that, so. Yeah, uh -huh. he had yeah, some I, kind of Photoshop classes. I realized I'm like I'm, I was only in the chat for like seven minutes. It was real short, but yet in that amount of time, he was able to chat, type to other people, and Photoshop me. So I, I understand I'm doing. <laughs> Where did he even balls, get the man. picture I, of you from? Where did he even get the picture? Man, of I don't you? even know. Like I think I wore that car. You know what? I wore that. Is that a car? Is that my camouflage Cardinals hat? I think it was in that picture. And I wore that hat the night I was on her arguing with Argo J. We were going back and forth with the hats. So but, uh, he must have been watching and and screen capturing you, or maybe he went back to that video or something and took it out of that. I, I don't know, know how he did it, but he has some serious Photoshop. Skills. He was quick with it too. It's like he was. It was really really fast. So I understand who I'm dealing with. You know, you always have to train for your enemy. You, you don't <laughs> underestimate him. So I had to step back, <laughs> call in reinforcements. We we gonna we gonna we gonna get him. We gonna okay. get him. And then um, I'm gonna make sure he's not mad at me before I send him my gun and it comes back shooting at me. Oh well, Will Will Killer Keller says I thought about putting HK for life on the hat or a USP in his hands. So there you go. You know, I mean. Listen, uh, you know, people are thinking about you, man. Yeah, so for people to be doing photos of you, photoshopping you, they must love you. Oh, it's, it's love. love. <laughs> you know what was funny? Chris, uh, it's, it's the kind of love that hurts. Exciting and new. Chris, always, every time somebody gets through talking about me, it's like I got I got a um, a confidant. Like, Chris will always send me a message. It'll be like midnight. He sends me a message like, uh, hey, man, this is how I kind of take the messages. Hey, man, we spent like an hour dogging you out, but look, we like you, okay? But tomorrow we're, and tomorrow we're going to do it again. So just get used to it. <laughs> but it, yeah. it's all good. I love it. It's fun to me. Yeah. Babyface says he went to troll college. <laughs> I believe that's <laughs> it. He Googled K Kevin Dixie and got a screenshot. Oh, is that how he did it? Uh oh, oh, that's dangerous, man. Oh, uh, and you know what? I, sometimes yeah. I Google myself. It's real. It's real dangerous. Yeah. Uh, it's dangerous because it hurts my feelings because I'm not in more places. Oh, Josh, <laughs> you, uh, Petion, I'm going to assume, or Petuan, or I don't know how the hell you pronounce that. He says, once HR 38 passes, road trip around the USA. Be careful. Yeah, it's still, even if it passes, because now careful. there's going to be a lot of hidden language in that. Oh, yeah. And, um, can you imagine, like, what if they get to keep their magazine restrictions, right? Oh, yeah. yeah so, yeah, you can carry it, but it better be a six shot. And you're, you're going with something, some double stack, you know, I, I don't know. It's going to be. We be careful. Listen, I think we'll ultimately what we need to do here is plant the seeds of uh, freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, I was watching. I watched the live thing that Mac and um, I think it was Mac and Dave. They were on the live thing last night. We I couldn't watch it last night because we were on at the same time. But I did watch it. And, you know, Mac made a point. You know, he said if we can get some of this. It, look, even the act of getting this out there in the public makes people start thinking like, wait a second. How come I can't? You know, if I could drive anywhere in America with my driver's license, yeah, why can't? How, yeah, how come I can't go anywhere in America with my um, with with my CCW or my concealed carry permit? So, 
Now, what the opposite side is trying to say, oh, well, but, you know, some places just give anybody a concealed weapons permit. No, they don't. You know, well, guess what? You don't even technically in America, according to the Constitution, you don't need a damn concealed right, carry right, permit. Right, 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 right. You don't need that nonsense. Now, that opens you know? up a, that opens up kind of a question along the lines of this. And I'll just put it out there to you two guys and anybody wants to comment in the chat. What is, what is your opinion about training requirements for concealed carry? So let's say with this reciprocity bill, say if it passes and I'm like, OK, Average class is anywhere between six and eight hours, so everybody has to get a permit, and it's a seven-hour long class. What are your thoughts about training? Yeah, but that, so far as I know, that's not in HR thirty-eight. I'm just, I'm just adding my own little. Yeah, if someone add, so you're saying if someone adds on, no, no add-ons. Mm -mm. That's what I say. No add-ons. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need to look. It, let me tell you something. First of all, we like the fact of having to have a permit to do what you are entitled to do you know, what is your birthright in terms of the Second Amendment to carry, mm -hmm. having a permit in the first place is a pain in the ass. Go going and doing the training is a responsibility that you have to take on on yourself and what level of training you want to do. I think if we get into that whole quagmire of how much training, there's going to be people on the other side that are going to go, yeah, we want everyone to have 2,000 hours worth of training. Nobody's ever going to agree to anything. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, if you ask me what I think about training, I think everyone should go out there and do training. I try to go at least once a year. Uh, I, I mean, and I don't think that's enough. I think you need to train more than that. I shoot often. And when, I, when I'm out there shooting, I try to somehow force myself to do things that I'm supposed to be doing training-wise. But then I also go and take classes, um, et cetera. But I just don't think that that's a good idea to get into, you know? Uh-oh. Why are you bringing it back, Walter? We, we were, you know. Because the whole world can see it now. <laughs> oh, did oh. you just post it somewhere? Oh, you know what, baby. Where did you post it? Why are you it? showing pictures of me and breaking out whipped cream? Oh, well, yeah. because this is like one of my, you guys ever do this? No. What the <laughs> hell is up with you today? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You know, what cream out of the can? Walter, if, we did, if, if I did that, I'll be a lot bigger than I am right now. <laughs> Nope. Don't have no, actually, this is very low calorie. But well, more power to you. I hope you had some training before you. And besides that, when you get done, it's got some uh, nitrous oxide in there, too. Save so. some for your sex bots. <laughs> <laughs> it is disturbing that he is looking at a picture of you. And then... Picture of me squirting whipped cream in his mouth. Where did you post this, Walter? Let me let me ask you. Where I did put you... it on the Instagrams. Okay, so it's on the Instagram. Everyone who has Instagram watching this right now, we got a hundred people plus watching this. I encourage you guys to go over to Instagram. Walter's Instagram is uh, Safety Harbor Firearms. So let's all go over to Instagram right now. And, and I and I tag I tagged you, Mr. Hank Strange, and I tagged Kevin Dixie. And okay, NLC so I see it. NLC so firearms. let's all go over there. Give it a like and comment. Let's put what's what's the hashtag, uh, Katie. KD got a big old donk. No. <laughs> yes. You can add to it if you God like. You know, it's up to you. But KD got a big old donk. I got one that said giddy up. And so hashtag KD B O T A B I G O L and then oh, you know, man. there you go. And I'm gonna post. Oh, so you guys, I encourage all you guys to go on there and do hashtag KD got a big old donk. Oh no! So, this, this, so that that hashtag can go on all future talk <laughs> pictures of AD. <laughs> it's gonna oh, go viral. And anyone from now on that uh, posts up a talk picture, we we welcome you. We invite you. We should have a contest where we give away things to people <laughs> that make that make up a, a donk meme right now. So, are you over there? I hope you're liking it. I see you being very quiet, Kevin. <laughs> I know. I'm. I'm actually. I'm. A, I'm a commenting and I'm tagging HK in it. I'm doing all. Oh right. boy. <laughs> yeah. Um. So go. I encourage you guys go to Safety Harbor Firearms on Instagram. Uh, make you sure know, you're following Walter. Make sure you're following Kevin Dixie as well. Yeah. He's uh. Your NOC Firearms Training on there, right? Yep. yep. NOC Firearms Training on the grams of the instance, the quick one. Absolutely. Yeah. And well, uh, the funniest, the funniest part about the whole picture is, is that ha the saddle. Every time I look at him sitting in that saddle, I just I just start cracking up because it's like it's like a kid's toy, you know, like a ride -em toy at the at the grocery store. Yeah. You get on that thing, put a quarter in, your kid rides the 
It's like, oh man, that's so I am shit. totally. You know what? Yeah, let me. I'm gonna reshare. It. I'm gonna. Let, I'm gonna let it ride on your page for a while. I'll reshare it tomorrow. But yeah. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> Oh man, I almost want to get this blown up and put it on a t-shirt and shot. <laughs> well, we could talk to Forge from Freedom and we can get him to make it into a t-shirt. That would probably be a good idea. I, I would definitely wear that at the HK booth that shot. Yeah. That, that would be a... Let's see. Let's do at Forge from Freedom, see what they think about it. By the way, Forge from Freedom is where we get our T-shirts, guys. Oh, we gotta call those guys. That's where we do our T-shirts. So you'll, you know, the Hank Strange collections up there and Forge from Freedom. So shout out to those guys. So there you go. So I guess okay. So we're not gonna see Kevin Dixie's retaliation. Hmm. Uh, I'm waiting to see if uh, Babyface is. Uh, he's really quiet. He disappeared out of the chat. He's working on Rev so, Two, probably. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. Well, he, he he posted a picture of himself, but. He was kind of attached to a, a person of color because he couldn't find any white people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, while we're at it, we should encourage people to do some nice baby, some nice baby face memes. You know, we should put that. We should put baby faces head, the head from this picture. Let me see. Let me find this one more time. Because <laughs> while we're at it, let's be equal opportunity with this. I want to see more people yeah, find, this, sweet, find this head and put it on more stuff. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see this baby face head on lots of things. You know, like somebody put it on Boss Baby. You know, I think you should put it on put it on top of Kim Jong. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, put it on anything that makes you uh, the supreme leader. Absolutely. So there. So yeah, someone's asking if baby face is still there. I, I suspect he's mm -hmm. off doing something right now. He's plotting he's world probably, domination. Yeah, I can yeah, I can see the steam coming out of his ears right now. Oh. All right, so let's. Uh, uh, what other stuff what else is going on? on? Uh, I will. I will say this. So just to add into the last point you made about uh, you know, HR thirty eight and the people should train. My personal feel, feeling on that is this. I don't think that we should make people do anything. All right, I got to be very careful about making somebody do something that's a God given right. It would just be my prayer that every adult or everybody that's old enough to pick up the guns and have them would take it upon themselves to to go out and seek training. Yeah, that would just be like my thought. Like, I would really enjoy that. A lot of people thought instructors like in Missouri when we passed, um, which is really not a good version of constitutional carry. We passed some stuff that's a little wicked here in Missouri in 2017. Um, and. You know, people are like, oh, well, you guys, you, all you trainers are mad, you know, because your, your business is going to start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, well, for one, if you call yourself a true professional trainer and your only class is concealed carry, that's a whole other conversation. Two, um, if you if if you look at the numbers of things, you know what? Uh, per capita, you make if you look at it at a business, you make a lot more doing the other classes. Concealed carry is really something two people do concealed carry classes. Guys that can teach it, that are good instructors and teachers and people, not even a gun. You have to be good at conveying laws and, and right. things like that. Just like a good teacher. People that care about people and you want to make sure they have the right information. And hustlers. I'm the two type of people to do Because either you're doing it because you, you love people and you want them to get the right information, or you want to hustle them out a quick 80, 100 bucks. Don't know what they're doing. You know, they're just out there in the world living crazy. So I would like everybody to take it upon themselves to get training, but I don't want to have to force it on you. I don't think that's fair either. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I agree with that. People need to get out there and train as much as you can. But the, outside of that, listen, we need to have the right to defend ourselves, period. You right. know, with right. uh, little things as possible getting them in the way of that. Babyface says he is blueing a damn cult right now. <laughs> so he's doing some blueing. He's doing some blueing operations. Uh, Babyface, is he like the Safety Harbor's satellite office? You guys are always. Oh, no, 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 uh -uh. no. 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 <laughs> no, that would not be prudent to, to even say. <laughs> no, he, he does his own. independent person. Yeah, he does his own thing. And he's crazy as all freaking get out. I'm going to show this picture. In light of all the harassment you had to take, I went over to see Babyface today. And this is Babyface doing the bluing that he's talking about. It's like you're cooking up some meth. Yeah. <laughs> He's got he's got this thing there, and he do you notice he has no shoes on? So that's OSHA not approved. <laughs> you know, he's just got like no shoes on, and he's there cooking this thing up in the garage. 
<laughs> so there you go. That's that's how that's Babyface right. gets that. He's doing that right now. <laughs> He's that's doing all right. that right now. Um, Babyface has got, baby got a pretty cool life. He gets to play with electronics all day, electronics and guns. Like, that guy's got it made. Yeah, he works hard. He works hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's what I mean. If you can, if you can work hard all day long doing what you love, man, that is the life. That is the life. That's what we all strive for. Well, that's Some people scary. think I do. Yeah. Oh, so what are you saying? You don't work hard? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, see, then then you could be like Walter. You could just win the lottery. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, if, if I won the lottery, really, if I won the lottery and won a serious amount of money, I might have a shop full of cool toys and make stuff, but it wouldn't be for a living. I can tell you that right now. So it'd just yeah. be for fun. So. Yeah. Oh, Brian Quick is uh, Brian Quick says, does Babyface have a V6 Mustang? How sad. He's got, well, you know, listen, we have to put together, we have to get a GoFundMe and get Babyface a proper, a proper, like a GT350 or something like that. You see that. with that, uh, speaking of that, you see that woman that, um, I guess, helped this uh, homeless guy mm -hmm. and put a, like a GoFundMe thing and raise like a 160 grand for him or something? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But he doesn't, he's not taking the money. He's not taking more than he needs to get an apartment, I heard. Yeah. Well. Well, I don't know about all that music, but you know. Yeah. By the wow. way, Babyface is working on. He likes the old classic Mustang, so I don't know. He he'll defend himself on that on that whole thing. You know, if I had my way, like when we were at SEMA, you can buy a brand new body, a brand new like '66 fastback, and I build that thing up like, like incredible. Yeah, I just I had that conversation with him today. He didn't want to hear anything I had to say. He wanted oh, he wants an original one. Uh, I don't. Well, I'd be nice, but the, usually they're so rusted up and stuff. It's easier to start with new body. Yeah, I think he has his eyes on something. We'll see what comes out of that. We'll see but, what happens, you know. Yeah. Hey, what am I gonna see? This what, Hank, where is your gun at? What gun? You got a gun hanging around somewhere? Of course. We're not mad at you about that. No, no, you got a gun named after you. Where is that thing at? Oh, the Hank. No, yeah, that's we're working on that. We're working on that. Oh, so it's, oh, so, oh it's exclusive. I'm sorry. No, no, it's not. You know, well, there's going to be several <laughs> Hanks actually. <laughs> oh, oh, not one gun. You got a whole damn collection. Yeah, it's going to be a bunch. <laughs> that, that's in the process. I got right to. I got to get some cooler white friends that make things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> man, listen, oh, hey, uh, all things, all things are possible. Now, if, it was, if I could, though, if I could, seriously, what I would do for a living uh, outside of and my, my normal everyday nine to five job is, is really cool and really interesting. But if I could dream job wise, I would literally do my aiming for the truth event uh, once a month and travel, be backed and funded by, uh, you know, people that believe in the Second Amendment and get out and travel, train, mentor, talk and encourage people to get out and exercise the two way rights and go around teaching classes for free. Like that would be what I would do for a living, you know. So yeah. as long as somebody's backing that with that cash, yeah. You, yeah, you know, I would. That's what I would love to do. Go out, meet people, like that's get cool. their stories. You know, do more than just take them to the range. Like I would want to go meet somebody, unfortunately, that went through some, you know, armed robbery or whatever, and get them out and re re uh, walk through the situation, what happened, and how we can train them to avoid that next time, and just you know, really get into the hearts of people and get into their lives and change them up. That's what I would do if I could. Yeah, all day long. Um, and listen, I think that you can make that happen, man. You don't necessarily have to have a, you know, a very lubricious benefactor that comes along, but you know, you can do it. You can do it. You could build this thing that you're doing right now into that. Yeah. So, you know, uh, by the way, Warsaw Patriot is, is, uh, totally, uh, trolling me right now. You know, yeah. he, he wants me. Yeah. He, he just wants me to remind everyone that Warsaw Patriot loves clocks. <laughs> you know, that Warsaw Patriot says Glocks for life. Yeah. You know. There's worse thing. Yeah. He says, I would rather not have a something that rhymes with Glock than to, <laughs> than to not have a Glock. <laughs> so you guys can figure that <laughs> oh, out. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, he's just, okay, let's see who else is going on here. <laughs> yeah. It got um, quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, there's lots of uh, there's lots of uh, there's Ford back and forth, man. The Ford fans are in here. The Ford oh. haters are in here. You now, now, see, yeah. I'm not necessarily a Ford fan. You know, I mentioned the Mustang because I like the little the small Mustangs. Mm -hmm. um, but that could be an old school Camaro, lowered down, big ass engine, cool ass suspension. Yeah, um, it could be a freaking 
<laughs> old school Dodge, like a Barracuda, man. The old like sixty four Barracuda with the big ass window in the back. Uh huh. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, first of all, I'm a fan of all cars. I like all cars. Yeah, I, I, you know. yeah. Uh, and Ford has some cool cars. I do like. Uh, there's some older stuff that I like. Some new stuff. Listen, the technology that they're putting into the Raptor and the Mustang and stuff like that that's coming out is pretty badass. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing better. Yeah. You can hardly beat a good fuel injection system, man. Yeah, you, can, you, you know. can tune it. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You know, so. Well, Ford kicked their game up here, man, and they're like, uh, you know, they're really, they're kicking out I these uh, aluminum cars. Remember, Ford didn't take Ford didn't take none of that Obama money neither. So they uh, they they were doing whatever the hell they wanted. They weren't being preached to by the by the boss man. So, yeah, yeah. So they're they're a little bit ahead of the of the curve, so to speak here. But you know, I think all companies are doing stuff. Chevy's doing some. I saw Chevy. Um, what is yeah. it? The new. What is this thing that they got called? The, it's something that's. Uh, it starts with a C. Is it? it the. Is it the. A Camaro. No, not a. Not a. Not a Camaro. 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 Oh, man, it's supposed to be this dude. Yesterday was uh, this kid actually was like, the Chevy Exorcist or something. I think that was it. He said it's supposed to be like faster than a demon, and Chevy caught. Let me Google this thing because he. No, told I don't know what you're talking. I don't about. know. He was like, it's supposed to be faster than the demon. He was like, have you seen the Chevy thing? Because I was driving my Magnum yesterday, and I guess he was trying to like throw some Dodge hate. And I'm like, I'm really. Oh, dude. Hey, look. Hey, look. I'm a GM. I, have, I was like, I, was just, I just like the Magnum, you know. But I like, like the Magnum style. I think the Magnum's a cool car. Uh, new. I thought there was like a 2019 something that Chevy was coming out with. Um, I don't know. I think the yeah, it's uh, it's a little. I'm got it's. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a Camaro um, ZL1, but it's called the Exorcist. That's what the, that's what it's called. The Exorcist. Yeah. Really? The, I'll send you guys the link. Yep. It's hey. called the Exorcist. Oh, I don't know. They're, I don't know about that. I know this, below, man. Yeah, I know that the Corvette ZR1 is coming out, and that's pretty friggin' badass. Seven hundred and fifty-five horsepower. Oh, you What's found. It? The well, the no, the Corvette ZR1 2019 oh, 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 oh. Corvette ZR1 starts yeah. at 120 grand, but it's 755 horsepower, and for the first time in a long time, it's gonna be drop top, ring drops, drop top, ceiling pop. I put it in the uh, chat. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, um, I don't know if you've seen this, but this looks actually Exorcist. pretty. Okay, the Exorcist thing. Hold on, let me see. That's gonna... almost as bad as calling your gun the, uh, the ghetto. Oh, blaster. it's from Hennessy. I think I heard of that. Yeah, well, that's almost as bad as calling your gun the ghetto blaster. To expunge yeah. the SRT demons and Hellcats from drag strips and local cruises, uh, the Exorcist <laughs> package turns the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 into a thousand horsepower model. <laughs> How long does it take before somebody crashes one brand new? Want to take bets? I drive it out of the lot. <laughs> Run right into a telephone pole, right out of the lot. I guarantee you, someone's already crashed it. Probably, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, if it's out there, um, hey, you know, just keep up in the horsepowers. Yeah. You know, um, is it all-wheel drive? No. <laughs> well, yeah, that's important that's when you have much horsepower. Yeah, I'm all about the whole, the all-wheel drive now, man. That's my problem with a lot of this stuff, you know. Like when you're going to a certain level of uh, horsepower, like what's the point? And it's and you know, it's not really. I guess it's practical on a, on a straight runway or something like well, that. Let me just I mean, say it's, it's all about the it's all about it's all about the hookup. Yeah, Brian Quick says for 120, he's buying a Porsche. Like he yeah. legitimately got money to go buy one, or he's like a dream car going to buy one. Yeah, like I guess. You know, oh, hell no. I want to know if there's somebody in this chat that can go out and buy a Porsche, you need to be donating. Let's figure out. <laughs> Are you talking? About <laughs> I'm pretty sure this oh, is oh, like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll kill a cow is baiting you up, Hank. How do you say coop? Coop. Well, okay. do you want, does he think I say coupe? A coupe, yeah. No, I know what the coupe is, but no, I say fall for that one, huh? No, I'm not falling for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, there you go. On that, I'll have some. I watched, I watched the grand tour. Mm. Yeah. You enjoy is that so you're just gonna eat you're just gonna sit there and eat this now, cool, now, the know, cool now, whip. You, you you're just gonna me. eat the cool whip, right? Yeah, just do Walt, please next time you wanna squirt whipped cream in your mouth, don't show a picture. Just 
<laughs> yeah, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, Walter, let me give you a suggestion. I understand that the fade is looking good today. Yeah, if you want to do that, just look at that picture. <laughs> do all the do all the cool whip that you want. Do all the cool whip that you baby want face. Right there. Poor baby face. Man. <laughs> you know what? Let me um let me open up a question for the guys because it seems like people yeah. are trying to get a little quiet. Hey, yes, um, so in general, I'll ask Hank, Walter, I'll ask you two guys. And, right, and go for it. I'm open, I'm open for the chat too. Yeah, real easy question. What kind of training, okay, whether it's pistol or rifle, what kind of training are you guys looking for? And then tell me what you're willing to pay for. Oh, dear. What type of training for you personally? Are you looking for stuff more real world? Are you wanting to, to just look at kind of target practice? Do you want something that like gets your heart rate up and like gets the bar, the body alarm response? Are we are we talking like our dream training? That's what you're talking about? No, not about? dream. Just, well, I would say, you know, not necessarily dream, but yeah. just realistic. Like, hey, I want to be able to, I want to see these type of classes more often at this price point. Okay. Uh, so, Walter, you go ahead. I'll let you take this first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't given it much thought, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't. I don't know, Kevin. Um, Walter uh, doesn't believe in training. No, no, I didn't. Don't stop talking for me there. <laughs> you, you said you don't know what to say. Well, that don't mean you can just go. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Walter, well, well, you know what you tell Hank, right? Tell him you'll bust a cap in it. That's what <laughs> I bust a cap in your ass. Don't make me bust some caps. <laughs> yeah, just remember the gun line. Remember the gun line. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I don't know. You know, I guess it would probably be if I had my choice, if I was doing training, I, I like to, I could probably be more proficient with a, a handgun, you know? Sure. Okay. Um, and, you know, and that's, I guess, I guess drills, you know, clearing, clear, clearing things and stuff like that. You know, I mean, I found when I took my concealed weapons class back in the day, when, um, they had a, it was like a two day class actually where they, and the police, some policemen were teaching it and, Telling you how to hold the guns and because people do all kinds of weird stuff, you know, mm -hmm. and it actually helped me um, how to clear a how to clear a uh, uh, like a stovepipe without taking your eye off the the prize, so to speak. Yeah, you know? keeping your head up and, on target. Yeah, right, and that helped me then. So that kind of stuff. I mean, that that's probably basic stuff. I mean, I don't know. Hank, what about you? Um, my perfect training would be every day in the morning. Very early, Rachel B thirty three thirty three, who is an excellent shooter, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, Robin, mm -hmm. you giving you a back rub and waking Rachel you up. Rachel B thirty three thirty uh, three 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 co comes early in the morning, wakes me up, and we go training. And we do all kinds of stuff. We do shoot house training. We do the long distance. We do it all. You know, we do all the drills and all that kind of stuff. And what do I have to pay for that every day? One dollar. That's my dream. Where's Where's Lola doing this training? Is she taking the training with you, or are you gonna do it while she's at work? I'm just trying to figure Lola out. Lola is not in this fantasy, Kevin Dix. <laughs> Lola is not in this situation right here, right now. Okay, you said this was fantasy league. You, you asked the question. You I asked the wrong person. I <laughs> think you've been waiting to say that. Wow. Actually, Rachel B. Thirty-three. What is it? It's uh, three 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 three. She's actually a pretty good shooter. She's very. She's pretty badass. She's just this, you know. I think she does the sub gun stuff at Knob Creek. Yeah, she does a lot of cool stuff. But I mean, for me, if you if you're gonna ask me what kind of training I want to do, I don't really want to do training with any dudes. Thank you very much. You want you want the girls to be? I've had quite enough of that. <laughs> all right, all right. I can yeah. understand it. I can understand. Yeah. Lola knows. Uh, by the way, Lola already knows this, man. If I ever play the lottery, because I don't play the lottery, that I do it every now and then, but I don't really play the lottery or anything. If I ever play it and actually win it, first thing I'm doing is getting trainers. But there will be no male trainers in my repertoire. <laughs> I'm going to get as fit as hell, son. <laughs> but there won't be any dudes training me. You know, that that will be like the built-in motivation right there. All right, know, all right. I'll hire a personal chef. It won't be a dude. That I would like. A personal chef. This one you endorse? Seriously? <laughs> that would that, that, be like if I had somebody that... I mean, I like to cook and stuff. Ask my wife, but um, it, sometimes I just don't feel like that shit, you know. So, tell me what it's like when you go out to eat. It's like just be away. Yeah. Like you no, know, today we're gonna have some of this, Joe. Yeah. Make that do this. Yeah. If I win the lottery, I'm living like I'm living like freaking Eddie Murphy coming to America in the beginning. 
<laughs> the beginning of not the rest of the nonsense that happened in coming to America. I'm Maybe. living like Eddie Murphy in the beginning of the movie. Party all the time, party all the time. <laughs> have you <laughs> seen this movie, Walter? Uh, I, I probably have, have coming to America. That's from like the '80s or something, isn't it? Or '90s yeah. or something? Yeah. Like that? yeah, yeah. Kevin yeah. knows. Kevin knows what I'm talking yeah. about. Look, look yeah. at his face. Coming Kevin to knows what I mean when I say the begin. He knows what I mean when I say the beginning of the movie. Uh, is the I don't even know. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Yeah. <laughs> That's a heck of a way to live, man. That is. Um, hey, hey, that movie was. Um, yeah, that movie's Walter. You don't. You 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 probably never watched this movie. Go ahead, admit it, Walter. We won't. I probably didn't. Else. I have to say, I probably. Yeah, didn't. you have to go. You have to look. I All suggest right. that Will Killer Keller gets coming. To, actually, coming to America is on Netflix. So probably. so here's here's the question for you, Hank. Uh huh. So the McDowell family. Uh huh. You take the older sister or the younger sister. Oh, this this is a this is a tough one. Mm -hmm. The older sister or the younger sister? The yeah. younger. The younger one. <laughs> <laughs> like the younger McDowell. Yeah, Walter, you're gonna have to watch this movie. I'm gonna have to watch it because you you you're gonna crack up when you watch this movie. I probably <laughs> will. Pay close attention to the beginning of the movie. Okay. Uh, yeah. Of said movie, it's really cool. I, I mean, I really like that movie. Actually, the where the McDowells was in Coming to America was actually on Queens Boulevard, and it was a McDonald's. They actually took a McDonald's and they made it into McDowells. Oh, okay. And I knew that place because I used to go. I used to work in that area, and I used to go past there all the time. So, you know, but Coming to America, one of my favorite movies. I recommend everyone watch it who hasn't watched it, especially the beginning. This is how every man. Every king should live. Oh, oh there's a there's a new good gun show too for guys. By the way, oh, go see ahead, some, watch. Guns, some guns being ran. Then I want to see what the hell Walter's got. But if you want to see some guns being ran, watch The Punisher on Netflix. They do a pretty good job for, it, especially for it being Netflix and a, uh, a show. It's pretty good. Yeah, for being like anti-gun and they're trying to program us. I, I haven't watched all of it, but I know people like it. And there's the only know, thing I don't like about the Punisher, you ought to see how they make gun owners look. Like they're really slick with it. They have like this disgruntled dude, and he's like all about taking over the world and taking the country back. And he has on an NRA hat, right? And he's like, it, it's the way they 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 try to throw out the subliminals. There was uh was real bad. Like so, the crazy nut job uh, was pro NRA. But right when he got to a chance to do a terrorist act, he backed out. So they didn't go full throttle with it. They let some other dude do it. But yeah, they, they played the NRA and um, uh, they had a gun guy that was trying to kill the anti-gun politician because he was anti-gun. So. Okay, no spoilers, Kevin. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. All right. No spoilers, no spoilers Kevin. Go back I, I am never going to be on Tyvin's level of the giveaways. But, but for you guys that have... Uh, iPhones. I got some cases here. These uh, and cases. these are for iPhone what seven? All right, so this is what I got. I got a pink case for an iPhone six or six S, right here. Hmm. This is made by KWA. They're they're across from us at the Shot Show. Um, and then I have two of them, one in green and one in tan, for the i uh, iPhone six plus, a six S plus. Um, anybody want them? Text me, okay. email, email me, um, or message me on Facebook, um, and you, they're yours, you know. But if you don't have the phone, don't do it. So, but you know, somebody really has a phone that needs a case. Yeah, so, yeah, we don't, we don't want someone to necessarily come and get it and then sell it on eBay. No, I mean, well, I mean, these are not, these are not uh, super expensive ones, anyways. But if you don't have anything, it's better than not having one. So. Yeah, Tango Hunter says, "I gotta catch up. I'm still rocking a Samsung AMP2." Is that a flip phone? <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I carry my revolver in single action. Says, do you believe the Earth is flat? Also, why? What? Who said something? Oh, oh, what uh, 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 well, like I say, why can't I see the Eiffel Tower from my house then? Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. At hand strings, it'll be next. It'll be never seeing the movie. The gods must be crazy. <laughs> uh, I Walter probably hasn't seen that. No. Uh, then he then Warsaw Patriot wants to know what do you think about the movie War Dogs 2016? Love that funny movie. That was War good. Dogs. Uh, yeah, you know this. It has some it has some funny parts in it. I will say Lord of War yeah. was a better movie to me though. Yeah. Now why is uh, okay? So so hold on a second. Um, I carry my revolver. Has to explain to me why. Like what is the thing about me thinking the Earth is flat? Uh, the Earth is flat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. 
I can't yeah. see the vehicle assembly building from my house. Yeah, I'm not so sure where he's coming with that. Of course, the Earth is not flat. We are all living on the shell of a turtle, floating in space. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're like the uh, in the you know the who's uh, Horton here's a who. Oh, you know, they're floating on a little uh, a little dust speck. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't. That movie puts me to sleep. If I want to. <laughs> Oh, he's uh, he's saying trying to lump us with the crazies. <laughs> oh well, I, I don't have I, you know I have a lot of hats, but I don't have tin foil hats. So, yeah. Oh right, 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 right. I just want to know how is it possible that Walter is sitting on here giving out cases, and you were giving out you know, stickers the other day. You're giving people a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm yet to get a fifty cal. <laughs> I haven't, and I'm even willing uh, to. How, give a how did you make this <laughs> link? How did how you did, make a link from from, how do we from, go from iPhone plastic, cases? Plastic iPhone cases, the fifty cases, caliber rifles, fifty cal shell cases. It all kind of just ties in together. Oh you know, man! Devin, I'm trying to, to give the thing back to you. I just you know need me. Are a, you trying to throw a guilt trip on me or something? Uh, okay, yeah. So for, yeah. So I really um, want to do shoot. I want to do a fifty shoot in the snow. In the snow? Yeah, in the snow. But you can watch all the flurries like blow away when you shoot the fifty. In the snow. <laughs> Yeah, that might be cool. I, I can make it happen, man. I could bring the IO out there and melt that whole snowbank with the air ordinance. Pow, 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 pow. Oh, my I mean, yeah, anytime you want to come shoot, man. I mean, we can always shoot. Check the chat. I'm not scared of cold myself. Anyway. Steve uh, Uhlenberg says, Coming to America isn't that old. It's one of the last movies I watched. Really? FFS, which I'm not sure what the hell FFS means. Fucking shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. But Coming to America is an old ass movie. It's 30 years old. old. It's 30 yeah. years old. Yeah. It's uh, 1988. Coming That's to probably America. Eddie Murphy was in one of the, like almost his prime then. Yeah, Eddie Murphy was what, like, <laughs> like 21 years old or something? That's, he wasn't that's, that's, that's before he did that space movie in it and he just crashed and burned after that. Whatever that, like a science, sci fi kind huh. of thing or something? No, that he did that. You mean Meet Dave? That was way after this. Coming to America is 1988. Oh, all right. So that's 30 years ago at this point. For fuck's sake. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 30 years old, is it? That's old. Hank, 30. Um, you are getting flamed in the chat, my man. Oh, now what? Oh, and it's, it's somebody you don't have a comeback against. It's the wife. Oh, oh, what is she? Flamed in the chat. What is Lola saying about me? Well, I can I can summarize for you. Go ahead. You can fantasize all you want, but you don't achieve the ultimate goal unless she's involved. Pretty much what she said. So yeah. there you go. What's um. You well, the first thing I will do when I win the lottery. <laughs> oh no! Higher oh. distractions for Lola Strikes. <laughs> oh, so she gets a man. A man. I will a hire man's... people to keep her busy. She gets man a man servant too. <laughs> yeah. What is, what I will is hire the... some dark-skinned African dude. <laughs> Like, this is your job. Keep Lola so, Strange distracted over here. Hank likes, Hank, likes uh, Hank, I don't care. You can try to say you don't all, all you want, but you definitely have a thing for, for blondes. That's apparent. So, that, what, what, yeah, how did that come into the picture? Yeah, it's me. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, Walter. There you go. Bam. And, you know, puts whipped cream in his mouth. Think about you, blondes. The whole thing is <laughs> Um but you know, what kind of man distracts Lola? Like, name an actor. Name somebody we will all know that will distract her. Oh, P.S. Brosnan. Okay. Pierce Brosnan. Okay. In the, oh, now, which one? There you go. She also likes that dude. She doesn't want to tell me this, but she likes the dude who's playing Black Panther. I know that. She uh -huh. likes that guy. She also likes, she's, you know, she's, she, Lola, you know, know. She's, she's all over. The, she likes the Thor dude. Okay. Okay. Uh, she, yeah. He's, he's yeah. Buff, See that? She likes guy. the Thor. Yeah, she likes the Thor dude. She bounces around. She bounces around. I know she used to be down with Wesley Snipes back in the oh, days. Oh, no. Like Passenger 57, Wesley? Thank you. What, Wesley? Like, like Passenger 57, Wesley? Yeah, like pre-crazy ass Wesley. Okay, okay, okay. Like Blade Wesley. Pre-going to jail, Wesley? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> my, wife, my wife has um, a thing for um, a Morris Chestnut. That's her. That's her. Oh, wife. Morris Chestnut? Oh. Yeah. No, she likes. Uh, she yeah, likes. Like Boris, Boris Kojo, she likes. Exactly. She likes Tyson Beckford. Oh, uh, he was a show. Kojo's cute. Oh, Bo oh, she says Boris Kojo. She likes Boris Kojo. Boris, oh that's God. the light skinned guy, right? Yeah, that's the German dude. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 black German guy. So. There is such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, the hell? <laughs> 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 what? 
Walter, seriously now. <laughs> I had to say that. Sorry. Peggy <laughs> Peggy Killer Keller says she's she's she okay. She seconds Thor. Yes. Let's yeah, every yeah, yeah. all the guys tell us if you're married or got a girlfriend in the chat. <laughs> tell us who your woman dreams of. No, I could tell Lola likes Thor because in that first Thor movie when he was shirtless or whatever, she liked oh, that. Yeah. She likes that scene. <laughs> So you know, I was uh, now I don't I don't know the guy's name because I always pronounce it wrong. But what? you should have heard the gasp in the movie theater when I went to go see uh Justice League, the Aquaman dude. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. He uh, took his he he took his shirt off to get in the ocean, and like yeah. every woman in the theater just. <laughs> yeah, that guy's married to Lisa Bonet. Oh. Um, I forgot his name. Yep. He was in um, Game of Thrones. Yeah, he was in Game of Thrones, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the best <laughs> acting I ever seen. <laughs> best acting I ever seen with him in Game of Thrones. <laughs> he didn't talk at all. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard Jason so much. Jason Moma. Jason Moma. I never heard so much talk from Lola. Now, what, what's up yeah. with that? She probably yeah. also likes The Rock, but she got The Rock. I'm, no, I'm, like I'm, the as, rock. I'm as close as you get into The Rock right here. <laughs> I'm Polynesian, all that. You know, like. <laughs> What are you claiming now? Come yeah, on. What, everything. What, claim, what, I claim I claims it one all. One second sorry. you're from England, next second you're from there, next second you're rocking the the, 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 the chicks from Africa and I claim it just, I got a little I got like six percent Polynesian in there. What? Okay. Right. That's all enough right. to do all you're those crazy from huh? from a different country every day. The rock, really? I, the, Peggy said the rock? <laughs> no, she I'm just teasing Lola. She doesn't like the rock. <laughs> No, I don't like yeah. the rock. Oh, the rock, man. I, I anyway. thought all the women liked the rock. <laughs> what we I thought that was like a staple to be a woman. No, Peggy. I can't hear them. <laughs> yeah, I think the rock is too much beefcake for Lola. Yeah, I don't like beefcake. Yeah, she doesn't want it to go overboard. <laughs> now she's got she's got principles, damn it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean the rock's a good looking guy. Yeah, yeah, no, he's buff, man. He's, a, he's a, and he's. I mean, what is he close to fifty now? And he's still in in Austin. Awesome. What he is, but he's. he's um, yeah, if you pump up steroids and and you, uh, it's right. not just the yeah, steroids. Yeah, you got to put the work in. You guys. This is what we say about those actor guys. If that's all you're gonna do, and you gotta you gotta look that way to make a living, guess what? Yeah, you no, got per, not, you got you got personal trainers. No, I'm not talking about steroids, but I'm just oh. saying working out and. And doing all that. If that's all you got to do all day to make your oh, living, then Joe Carpenter, yeah. Joe Carpenter to... just attacked me. He says, uh, Hank is the pebble. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, like there's the rock, so I'm the pebble. Oh, you pebble. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> now the yeah, Wonder yeah. Woman, the Wonder Woman girl's pretty cute. Yeah, she's all right. She's okay, but she's not she's not Wonder Woman though. Well, you know, she's not Wonder Woman. Like a Wonder Woman should have a little bit more, what? you know, a little Meat bit more. Bones? Yeah, yeah, she's too bony. No, well, she's all right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying you she know, doesn't look like she came out. Like I'm not models. saying. I'm not saying I wouldn't hit it, Walter. I'm just saying she's too bony to be Wonder Woman. Yeah, that Linda girl, Carter. Linda Carter, better, best Wonder Woman ever. That girl is good looking. I can. What's her name? Linda Carter. No, the one that currently plays Wonder Woman. Her name is Gal Gadot. Yeah, yeah her. She, she, uh, she, uh, from girl. Israel. And she uh, is she is classy. I like her dark hair too. She's beautiful. And she's she's a pretty good actress. Like I think she's doing a good job. Yeah. K Mac says, I'm a white guy and I like The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's both. The Rock man, is funny. The Rock is a funny yeah, dude. Yeah, and he does his parts, you know, it, it it's not all serious all the time. Yeah, either. he's one of my favorite. Have you seen uh what was it? Central Intelligence? Yeah, that's no. pretty funny. <laughs> no, you didn't see that, Walter? No, no, no. That's funny. You would like Central Intelligence. Not yet. Not yet. That, yeah, that was pretty it's, good. It's it's our remember. kind of humor. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, I mean uh, I, and he's not a leftist either, I don't think either, so. Mm. Who, The Rock? The Rock, yeah. I don't know. I can't stand these guys that are all anti-gun and then they make their living shooting guns. You know, yeah. and, and I, <laughs> Gal Gadot apparently was in the military. She's an IDF. She's a oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I heard you. I'm not knocking her. I think she's cute and everything, but you know, they gotta at least put some digital muscles on her or something. Hey, Smokey <laughs> Mountain Rain says hats off yeah. to thick girls. I like my 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 girls. I guess corn fed country chicks. <laughs> they yeah, shoot. Wonder Woman should have some thunder thighs. Damn it. Love uh, and maybe to kick your butt. Hey, I will say this. I am not. A, my, I, I used to tease um, 
my wife when we first got married because she was real real petite girl and i'm like yep we're gonna do something about that <laughs> put a little meat on you put a little meat on your hands. it's okay kevin said it yeah um like you know so okay so who's your most beautiful actress of all time it doesn't matter living dead it doesn't matter oh man who's that's your most beautiful actress ever kevin dixie you got to you're under the pressure yeah and i don't know if i can do it. it's so many running through my head right now like i'm no, I, come I, on you gotta just spit it out let's see who is what? it i don't i don't have one I can tell you right now, I'm not a Halle okay. Berry fan, so that's not. No, it. I'm not. Halle Berry looks like a like a rat. <laughs> she looks like a little. You ever saw the littles? Yes. A rat. Yeah, she yeah, looks like that. That's uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Rat. I'm not a fan of Halle Berry. Oh uh, man, I can tell. I can tell. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Come on. Okay. I don't know. It's not going to be my most beautiful ever because I'll have to think about that. But I will say one that uh, I like a lot is Megan Good. That girl is just flat out gorgeous. Uh, her and oddly enough, I don't know her name, but you ever seen a movie uh, Couples Retreat? Mm, I think so. Yeah. The 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 one that was married to the guy who um the football player that kept living in a football fantasy, the kind of big dude that was like, you want to watch tape? You want to watch tape? That guy, his mm. wife, she was the one that um was about to mess with the um the yoga instructor. She was about to mess with the yoga instructor toward the end of the movie, and the guy. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to look that up. I, I don't know her name. But she's, she's pretty. And um, is that Jennifer Aniston? No, it's not Jennifer Aniston. Oh, which reminds me, Jessica Alba. Nope. Oh, okay. What? Jessica Alba is pretty. Yeah, but not the best of all time. Yeah, Megan. Nah, you, know, you don't have to show me what Megan Good looks like, oh, woman. I already know what Megan oh, Good looks like. Me. Atomic Bulls. You got you got a couple good ones there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Walter. Kevin can't make up his mind. Well, I can't either, actually, to be honest with you. So, I mean, one. Are you one guys? Oh, yeah, hard to, are you guys serious? The easy answer is Angela Bassett. I mean, she's a beautiful yeah, woman. Don't Angela wrong. Bassett. Angela Bassett yeah. is beautiful. She can She can probably box for real. <laughs> like that girl stays. Oh, in, <laughs> yeah. Angela Bassett. Uh, she. I would. I don't see anything wrong with that. But I think Megan Good's better looking. Uh, she's just a video. She's just a video chick. Gabrielle Union's very beautiful. How about she's, she's pretty without makeup on? And see, that's very important. Both of them are without makeup on. They're pretty. How about yeah? That's yeah. That's that's very important actually. Um, yeah. I don't okay. know, man. You know, we can't make up our mind here. We're men. We bounce around too much. Yeah, I mean, that it's the problem with the men. See, we were easily. We know what the women like. We don't even know what we like. Now, Jennifer Aniston, I will say, even though she wasn't the one I was thinking about, and she's a very, very petite woman, of course, but so, but I will say that um, uh, Jennifer Aniston, sometimes she would be the reason why I would watch Friends. Like, she's 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 a cute girl, uh, and she was real good. And what was that? Her and um, uh, what was the movie? They were living in Chicago in an apartment, and they broke up at the end. Was it called the breakup? Probably. Yeah, but that I mean, she's she's got some good. Uh, some some good looks. Warsaw Patriot says he will never date Megan Fox. <laughs> I thought, okay. Ma oh, Megan Fox. Yeah, and 904 Fox. Outdoors says Salma Hayek. Uh, best boobies, definitely Salma Hayek. Yeah, she's a, she's, no. she's a, she's a good looking girl for her age. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sandra Bullock. That's another good one. Sandra Hayek. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sandra yeah. Bullock oh. looks like Michael Jackson. No. The white one. Oh, and uh, Forest oh. Fire is like Are you crazy? Is, uh, Sandra Bullock Fire. looks like Michael Jackson, damn it. Christian when, Davis. When, is the girl. when they actually make a Michael Jackson movie and Michael Jackson transitions to be a white dude, they need to get Sandra Bullock to play that part. Sandra Bullock is a, Sandra Bullock does not look like Mike. And it's no. Christian Davis. Are you out of your damn mind? Okay. But she's go got ahead. a deeper voice than Sandra Mike. Bullock go ahead. Go ahead and Bullock is go, looks like a man. Go. You can't talk like Michael. Go ahead and talk. I'm just gonna pull something up. Here. Sandra Bullock looks like a man, and it's Kristen Davis from the retreat, by the way. Thanks, uh, Forest Fire. And um, yeah, uh, but oh, Morton you know, Freeman I'm, said needs to be assured on that Kevin Dixie stuff. You know what I'm saying? He just commented on Instagram. Is that Morton, I, we can only see your, your on your, your screen. Well, we can oh, only. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know, <laughs> you, I know your screen's locked. Good for you. I got excited. I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm sorry. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Whoopi yeah. Goldberg, DC is just being funny. <laughs> he said Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. Oh my God, that's like a, that's like a dog that needs a good uh, needs a good haircut. I don't know. I don't who's, know. Uh, who's Jennifer Connelly? Jennifer Connelly, she's she's all right. I don't know who that is though. Who is she? The Golden Girls. Golden that actress. Girls. <laughs> that's a good question. Like, what older woman? 
Kate it's Blanchett. Older right now. No. What older woman? Oh, I don't know. Too many questions. Too little time. Um, See, now I got to figure out Nicole my... Nicole Murphy. Who? Nicole Murphy. Who the hell? I don't even... I, I think oh, I and I, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot all about Ashanti. Let me... Let me Who's wine? What wine? I got I got to pay respect to Ashanti, but... um. Uh, you know, my man, my man Nelly was with with her for a while, so he did St. Louis proud with that one. That was, that was a good thing. Um, but um, yeah, Nicole Murphy, you got to Google Nicole Murphy, but you ain't no Nicole Murphy. Uh, ex Eddie Murphy, ex wife. Oh. oh, okay. I just saw a picture. Of her. Yeah. No one else believes me that Sandra Bullock looks like Michael Jackson, huh? I got no support on that, huh? Negative. Negative, man. She does uh, not. Negative, I, no. I strongly believe that they <laughs> are the same person. Michael Jackson just changed and became Sandra Bullock. I told you that Sandra Bullock's got a deeper voice than Mike did. Come on. You can't be that way. Michael, I can't talk like that. Um, Tonight, Twain. Oh. Hmm? 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 I'm pretty. I, I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty, 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 pretty sure. Oh, you're, that, you're, yeah. you're just a conspiratorial theory you have? Huh? That Mike, Mike transitioned into Sandra yeah, Bullock? I think so. I think he went is that through. Why, is that why Jesse went, James dumped her or something? Or what, he went through that Stargate? Well, that that that's one thing that proves to you there's something wrong with Jesse James, first of all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Barbara, Barbara Eden. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, when she was in her prime. Yeah, Barbara Eden. Hey, yeah. Walter, help me out with something, man. What's how that, is it there, speaking of Jesse James, so how is it? That he can not own guns, but can make and manufacture silencers. Probably because somebody else is a license. Yeah, who says he can't he own does. guns? Well, now that's no it's possible he's a convicted felon. I I've never verified it, but he, I never heard that. But it, somebody he else, has somebody to be an FFL, wouldn't he? Isn't he an FFL? Somebody else could own the could be on the license, kind of like with Red Jacket had their issues. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Joe O ended up being a license holder, and the other guy didn't have even that's have true. the license. Hey, how how yeah. how did they bounce back? Because I know they that like the son the son of law bought it, right? Backless? No. Are you talking about Jumbo or, or Red Jacket? Or no, he didn't bounce back. He did bounce back. No, he did not. No, that dude just, is in jail. I know he went to prison, but I thought his his daughter's husband bought it. No, no, they got no, no. The license was Joe Mo's name was on the license, so okay. he's that's why it's it is what it is now. So, and like the other one, um, which was the daughter and Chris, I forget his last name. Mm -hmm. They had some law issues after Papa went to jail with their with her stepson or stepdaughter or something, something got, somebody got in trouble. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know if he's in the gun business, um, um, per se, but I'm just going on by what I kind of know. So, um, but they're yeah. doing all right, I guess they're like everybody right now because it's so they've had to kind of can, uh, can, uh, 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 consolidate. Yeah. Um, uh, who was someone talking to us? Yeah, that was, that was down. Oh, he was just saying good night. Oh, good night. Uh, good night. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, tough that, that out was, there. It's tough out there for everyone nowadays. So yeah, somebody said, "Did you say uh, Jesse, Jesse James just looks like a felon?" Yeah. Now this is what I had heard. Let me um, uh, let me go. Right, let me Google it because I I heard somebody say that he can't even own guns. So how is he manufacturing? Yeah. Presses. Um. Anyways, back to Barbara Eden. Yeah, that's a good choice for an older lady. Um, that used to be the bewitched lady, not bewitched, but I'm thinking um. She's dead now, the bewitched woman. Um, um, okay, so I'm going to try to show you guys this. Here we go. Oh, no. Come on, Just man. look at that. Michael Jackson, Sandra Bullock, side okay. by side. Maybe how Mike can, was trying to be Sandra Bullock. How can Bullock? you not say that these two people look alike? They are the same person. They are not the same person. Yeah, but they Sandra Bullock. The Sandra Bullock. Person. Look at the nose. Sandra Bullock's nose is look not the nose. I'm I don't know if Sandra Michael had Jackson, knows Sandra Bullock, Bullock, same person. Bullock a, that's a beautiful woman. All okay, right? wait till you guys find out who's telling the truth. No one ever believes me when I'm telling when I'm saying stuff. Damn it! They went. They <laughs> they went and got. Uh, they went through that freaking Stargate that uh, that Walter yeah. has, <laughs> and yeah, somehow where, where merged. Is where is that thing now? I gotta find that Stargate. I lost it. <laughs> I misplaced it. Uh, yeah. Um, Sandra Bullock. I'm not saying she wasn't cute and in, in back in the days, but if you look, if you look at Sandra Bullock and Michael Jackson, look here. 
Sandra Bullock, right there. That's Sandra Bullock, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. All right, Michael Jackson. Boom. No. Yeah. No. Same no. person. I'm telling you. No. No, right. That is not. That is same no. person. They're just trying no. to trick you. It's like Superman and Clark Kent. <laughs> so, okay. Michael's really not dead. He's li living in Sandra. Yeah, probably. So she can bust moves like that and everything. You know how there was some dudes making a movie of, about a few different people, but one of them was Michael Jackson, and the guy they got to play Michael Jackson was a white guy? Oh, did you hear about this? <laughs> no, I didn't hear about yes. that. I think I this did. happened. This did, happened. Did they catch as much – they get as much love as, you know, a white guy played an Indian? Uh, no, the the people, people were very upset about yeah, it. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is in the building. So how do, you, how do you get a black guy to play Michael Jackson when he wasn't – well, anyways – are you um, hi. Hey, what's up? Hello. Mm -hmm. You getting ready to go to bed? Yeah. All right, cool. Bedtime. Good night. Yep. Good night. And some kisses. Yeah. Mm. Stop being all in the camera. You know you cute. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, come <laughs> on. She's, she's gonna be so much trouble. <laughs> you bet. You're not buying enough guns and ammo, my friend. Uh, you know what? Not nearly. <laughs> Not I'm gonna tell you right now, you are. Awesome. You need to buy more guns, more ammo, and lots of insurance. This <laughs> good. This good. Okay, Soylent Green says we need Lola's opinion. Lola Strange, Michael Jackson, Sandra Bullock, same person, right? <laughs> You've been saying that to me for years. No, Lola. See? No. Lola says I've been telling her that for years. No, Lola. No. <laughs> and Hitler's living in Brazil too. No. It's all possible. He could have been cloned. Yeah. No. We I heard a weird. I heard. Yeah. You know, a friend of mine stopped by the shop the other day, and I won't say any names. Cause he's also in the firearms business, but I won't say any names. And uh, he was saying something out of the Kennedy assassination papers that uh, the CIA in the fifties had this this weird thought that Hitler was living in South America because I go and he, it just it was just like going yeah, isn't that where the boys from brazil comes from yeah yeah well lots and lots and lots of nazis went down there mm -hmm. in argentina and all that after world war ii but but they actually thought that maybe he was still alive somehow living in down there so mm -hmm. it was weird yeah you know i don't know you never know you never know but uh there's a lot of interesting stuff on those papers uh, with the Kennedy's I guarantee Kennedy, you, so. let, it's like there's stuff that happened in World War II. We are never finding out about. Uh, they got a hundred hundred year lock on some of that stuff. So yeah, now you're not going to hear for a long so, time. Yeah, yep. Yes, sir. DC Two Mega Boost says Hitler was supposed to have a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the, the Nazis have a base on the other side of the moon. Remember? Yeah. The, the, have you seen the movie? What is it? Steel Iron Eagles. I, is it Iron Eagles? What is that movie? Have you guys uh, – hold on. Let me see. I'm going to check this movie right now. I think it's called Iron Eagles, I want to say. It's all about Nazis living on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> or is it Iron Sky? No, it's Iron Sky. Iron Sky. Hold on. Let's see. It's Iron something. I think it's Iron something. Iron Sky. Uh, yes, Iron Sky. You guys, has, you guys have to watch the movie Iron Sky. Um, I think it's also on Netflix. It's a really funny movie. Iron Sky. Yeah, Iron Sky. You're going to enjoy that movie. It's about uh, the basic premise. I'm not trying to mess it up for anyone who hasn't seen it. Basically, there's these Nazis during World War II that go to the moon. And they wait for Hitler to take over, but that shit doesn't happen. <laughs> so they're stuck up there on the dark side of the moon. Until this black astronaut goes up there and discovers <laughs> what? <laughs> it's some funny shit. You have to watch this movie. <laughs> it, I guarantee you're going to watch that and you're going to come back here. You're going to talk about it. It's so crazy. <laughs> Screaming Skull Saloon says, seen it. Uh, Yuri Modin says, the blonde in that movie was smoking hot. Yes. Uh, it was like uh, there was like a blonde German chick. In there, that was her. Um, oh, Helga. That was uh, yeah. In the movie, in this movie, that movie is funny, man. Oh, okay, I'll have to watch it, I guess. Yeah, it's got a couple of hotties in in the movie. So, um, James Arsenault says Iron Eagle was Louis Louis Gossett Jr., which is true. That's right. 
Um, and then Chris B said, I talked about this before, so you're right. Yes, you uh, did. Yes, you did. Yeah, but it's a it's a nice, you know, it's a it's a funny movie. I enjoy that. So there you go. You know, there's lots of good movies out there. I'm always trying to tell you guys, like Attack the Block. Who's seen Attack the Block? No one? Attack the Block. Nope. You ever heard about Attack the Block? Nope. So you know that young British kid that's in the Star Wars movies now? I'm trying to remember his uh Jason Boyoga. Boyo Boyega? Yeah. Boyega. He is he, his first movie was called Attack the Block. It's a British low budget sci-fi movie. And I saw that movie years ago. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, this kid is the next, he's the next Denzel. Ask Lola. Am I lying, Lola? Yeah, see, I'm talent scout right here. Sounds like Lola's always forced to answer your questions. Yeah, that's just Lola's not even there. I have a button. I say, Am I lying, Lola? I press the button and no, you're not lying. You're awesome. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm lying. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so I think Green said there's another spoof where Nazis come up from underground. Oh, here we got a, a burl in Katie's hand, so there you go. Okay. All right, so we've been doing this for like two hours, Lola yeah. says. We've been yeah. causing trouble. Talking about nothing, not much of anything. Sometimes that's yeah. the best stuff. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you we go. talked about HR 38. Yeah, we did. I mean, how long can you talk about that, to be honest talk with you? Talk about murderous priest. Yeah, HR that's, that's true. And, yeah. You know, we yeah. talked about the conspiracy of Michael Jackson and Sandra Bullock. <laughs> that, that's that a conspiracy. Was the most important thing we discussed. That's a conspiracy in your own mind. That is so not true. That that's is so wrong. <laughs> you dudes, you dudes are gonna you, wait till you find out. Dude looks like a lady. We, we talked about this right here. Oh, now, now you're talking. Now you're talking. We talked about that. <laughs> Don't <Yeah>. help, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we had a good conversation about that. We found out this about Babyface right here. <laughs> what <laughs> found this out about China Babyface. <laughs> we're talking about Walter running towards paratrooper China fembots. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Okay. You know, we talked. We, <laughs> we had some good conversation. <laughs> you put me in that fembot thing. I didn't I didn't even. <sighs> Where was I'm looking for the I'm looking for the other one. There's another one uh, here that I'm trying to find of. Uh, I'm trying to find the HK thing. Where is that, Walter? Uh, uh, what? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We talked about this. That oh. man. Oh, this is very important information here. <laughs> oh man! Look man. at that saddle, man. That thing's awesome. Uh, he's just proud. He's like proud. You know, I want to see the video where Kevin got off of that and did the look back. Like, you know, when you get out of your car and you're walking away, you look checking like, out your ride, That's man. My look, ride right there. I can't so, believe I man. drive that badass car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kevin right. likes that. I know Kevin's going to make that into some kind of T-shirt. It has to be. I, I already replied to Forge Freedom. <laughs> he uh, liked it. So. There you go. All right, so let me, let's me let wrap it up here. Walter, you want to go first? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Hey, you know something? The other night we were talking about my patch, the the, the Trump chicken pa rooster patch, and mm -hmm. right as we talked about it, two people, somebody went and bought a couple of them. So Sweet. If, if you guys are looking for the – well, this is not the patch, but um, if you're looking for the Trump rooster – it's on Etsy and uh, and it's on the uh, Safety Arrow Firearms website, and we have also on YouTube, actually on uh, eBay too. So if you're looking for that, it's out there. Um, yeah, Facebook um, someone says they should be decals. How come you don't make stickers out of the Trump rooster? <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> also, I want that, a few more guns to be made fully automatics. <laughs> yes, master. Yes, master. Don't beat me, master. I do it now. Come on. <laughs> Give me some time, man. I have a feeling in former lives, Walter, you were a slave. <laughs> I'm a slave to somebody all the time, man. I'll yeah, tell you yeah. yeah. I'm a slave to SHF. You know, that's what that is. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so, so, TJ okay. Blaze just joined us and when we're going out. I missed, oh, I missed the whole show tonight. That's okay. What? You <laughs> didn't miss. Okay, you missed a lot of craziness. <laughs> Oh, somebody's asked, Tango Hunter's asking if we have those hats with the Velcro on them. That's a good idea. Maybe I should get some of those and put them on the, right next to the Trump rooster on the website. So. The Velcro hats, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know. I'm, I'm look, I'll look at that. I'll look at that. i got to talk to my Chinese brothers. Um, <laughs> you need to make an all Velcro hat. That's what I would like. Oh, Someone needs to make a hat that's, thing? the whole thing is Velcro. That's probably not a bad idea. Probably yeah, not so a bad you idea. Put, yeah. You could just put patches all over it. You need just to get, get on that. Thing. Get up on that, Walter. Just get up on it. That's what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Um, and after I after I do every after I do every other thing, I need to do yes, yes. more automatics. 
Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about yeah. devils, lettuce, and owning guns. And send me a 50 for I can shoot <laughs> it in the snow. Yeah. Shoot it in the snow. That'd be interesting. That'd be oh. interesting. Yeah. yeah it, here's what here's what we would want, Kevin. We want you buried in the snow. And the top. Yeah, you're buried, the fifties buried, everything's buried under snow. <laughs> like a actually what will be even better is a snowman lying down on the ground. We see a snowman like he's lying down on the ground, but it's really you in there. Uh Hank, you're talking about a lot of time laying on the ground while somebody designs <laughs> yes. a snowman around yeah. me. Hey, yeah, you gotta work for it. <laughs> it's commitment. <laughs> Now, they would do, we will have to make sure we had enough snow for that kind of commitment, for one. I had to make sure we have enough snow. But I would definitely get in like a little uh, makeshift igloo or a big snow pile and shoot it from there and blow everything to smithereens. That would be nice. Maybe I can shoot a snowman. Ooh. Shoot a snowman, snowman with Tanner snowman right with in inside. Tanner inside. Tanner right inside, yeah. And it just that. vaporizes it. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. I can go out to my guys in Midwest Saracote, go out there to the property and blow uh, his head off with some tanner right there. <laughs> yeah. Now that we said that, somebody's going to do that. You watch. Well, they, you know what they got? They got their creative idea from it. Well, uh, it's happened yeah, before. Keller, Keller says, see, I have the best ideas. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Why? Did Will Killer <laughs> Keller come up with these ideas before? <laughs> Probably that, that, uh, that uh, Photoshop of me. Oh, yeah. He did that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's probably what he's talking about. And he did that so fast this morning. It's like I, he's in there on my time. He's getting paid on my time. Oh, this so <laughs> safety over firearms money. <laughs> Finance that yeah. thing, yeah. <laughs> so you are now officially sponsored by Safety Harbor Firearms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. Lola's giving me the evil eye. Okay, right. Walter, wrap it up. Come on, let's go. Facebook, let's go. Instagram, watch that. Uh, like I said, we got um, the YouTube channel, and then we got the uh, mower death. You like you like shooting things and blowing things up. Going to do some more of that here coming up. Got to talk to Mr. Strange about that. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, but Killer Keller says a pay raise is in order. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. So um, anyway, yeah. so I need. I'll let you deal with that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so first pay me back for all the food I fed you. He goes to lunch on iTab every freaking day, so yeah. come on. Mm -mm -mm. Um, not, not, we don't like eat at McDonald's. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter yeah, where we go. Yeah. He, um, gets eat, he gets to eat at Hooters. He doesn't. Well, anyways, that's a whole other story. So, oh, okay. um, but yeah, it's book. It, 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 you got you always you always do this to me. You ask me what's going on at the very end, and then we start going off in fifteen different different directions. So it's like, okay, okay, I'll be quiet. All right. So Facebook, Instagram, like keep an eye out. We're doing stuff. Getting ready for shot. Um, still got a sale going on the CZ stocks we're making parts for right now. Uh, working on that MP5 stock also, hopefully before shot show. Please, please, please. Um, and um, anybody's, yeah. So that's what's going on without crying too much about other stuff. And well, <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. Ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee. That's all, folks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. Kevin. It's on you now. It's right. hard act to follow. <laughs> right. Um, it was definitely um subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. NOC Firearms Channel on YouTube. On uh Facebook, it's uh NOC Firearms Training, and you can also look up Kevin Dixie. And on Instagram is at NOC Firearms Training, all one word, no spaces. If you want to join the mission and helping out with what I do with events like Aiming for the Truth, giving back to the community, expanding training in all age levels and skill levels, and helping good people out, you can go over to Patreon backslash NOC Firearms and join that mission. And I promise I will be doing more for Patreon, especially into the, the later parts of December and more into uh, January. Um, as far as events coming up, I will be, if you're in the Colorado Springs, Colorado area, I will be at Springs Armory uh, this Saturday, uh, just hanging out, doing a little meet and greet from uh, 10 a.m. to about 2 p.m. I'll be hanging out there um, and you know shaking hands and kissing babies. Um, so please come in, say hi, let's talk some gun stuff, let's have a good time, exchange some smiles. Um, the December 12th, be uh, stay tuned for uh, NRA TV for uh, Coleon show, the New War show. I will be on there on December 12th. That's when the show should air. So make sure you guys stay tuned and watch that and share it and like it and comment and give me your feedback about what you think. Um, and as far as the rest of the month of December, I'm kind of taking off to just be with family. But next month, we are kicking off uh, in January. I'm sorry. We're kicking off uh, our training. We're kicking it up a notch. So our first class, as long as 
everything works out right. It's going to be um, our cold weather evolve one course, which we're going to document, which is going to be fun. So basically, I got uh, five victims um, that are going to come take some brutal training in the snow. And one of them is a former guest, Mr. Marcus Weldon, the Santa shooter. Oh, oh cool. He's, he's coming down and I'm going to um, hurt him bad. He's 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 going to regret coming. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, He'll, he'll be better afterwards. So yeah, you're good. Stay tuned for that one. That's going to be fun. You're going to see us. Uh, I'm going to have those glass slamming 75 pound dummies running in ice and snow. It's it's going to be fun. Okay, cool. Greg 98 K said both HR bills sent to the house. So the one we don't want and the one we want both went up there. So you guys need to look into that and uh, push back. What is the other one? Um, HR 38 went up there. What's the, what's the other one that the tighten up the next thing? I forgot what number it is. The, the uh, Nick's fix bill also, I guess, passed. So is that a bad one? The Nick's fix one? Yeah, we don't. I mean, you know, we, we shouldn't have the stupid I Nick's thing. We don't I need to fix it if Nick's it's works there. Fine like, Nick's yeah, works exactly. fine like it is as long as people input information they're supposed to put in it. Right. Absolutely. OK. And um, I am going to be doing an event this weekend in Atlanta. I'm not really supposed to talk about it, but I will be in Atlanta. So I cannot Atlanta. mention what the event is. But if you're in Atlanta, and you're doing an event this weekend, you know, and, it it's, and it's related to guns. You <laughs> may possibly Light. see me yeah. up there in Atlanta. In hot Atlanta. That's so cool. there you go. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I want to thank everyone for joining us. This is like episode 101. It all went downhill from yesterday. <laughs> that's the way we delivered on the promise. <laughs> right. Oh, HR 4434. Yeah, we got to fight back, push back against that nonsense. Okay. Um, okay. So there you go. Um, Tango, Tango Hunter. Tango Hunter, don't worry about the whipped cream can. It's safe. It's safe in my hands. You know what I'm saying? Is it real? Is it light cream? Or that's what it, that's what it says. But you know, it's it's whipped cream. You know. Oh. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. So we I want to thank everyone that sponsors us. That Safety Harbor Firearms. This dude right here, uh, ran CLP Andrews Custom Leather, and of course, Big Daddy Goods. Big Daddy. Big Daddy Guns that helps us out. That's where we're broadcasting from. Uh, before I go, check out this gun behind me. This is the Krebs Custom KV-13. Oh, yeah. I think isn't to, is today or tomorrow. Yeah, is the it? first is the last day that you can enter the Krebs Custom Raffle. Just search that, Krebs Custom Raffles. The last day coming up, we'll have... One more day. Yeah, and then um, I think sometime next week we're going to do... A sh yeah, next week, Monday, we're going to do the giveaway of that, and we're going to have... Krebs and the rest of the Krebs custom crew back on here. Well, so your just, time's running out to get involved in that. I think it's up to like 15 something the last time we checked. You know yesterday. what my address is. You already got it, right? Yeah. What? Well, I'm not. <laughs> just, just Krebs it. is giving it away. I know. I, hopefully I'm it. winning. Hopefully I'm winning something. Uh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it's yeah. you. That's but insane. whatever you win and whatever Kevin wins is also mine. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> just just so you guys know, I call dibs. That only works with Lola. That don't work with us. <laughs> okay. All no. right. We thank everyone for supporting us on Patreon. We're Patreon slash Hank Strange. Thanks for joining us, guys. We had a great time. See you tomorrow. Peace. Peace, guys. Hey, We're out.